Sora supporter, and I'll be honest, he failed us. He dropped him. He Ooh. failed us. I know, I'm a hater. I'm a hater. What about it? I, uh... I did, I did beat Kalis, uh, Casillo. I don't Castillo. know why I'm... I think someone on Twitter who's called Callisto follows me, and that's what I remember from. I was gonna say, I didn't know Castillo had that much Twitter clout. That's crazy. I'm, I'm bad with names. It's okay. What's my name? Do you remember my name? Uh, Joe Biden. No, what's my name? Uh, John Yoshi. Well, that's my middle name. No, you know my new name? Come on. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. No, it's Sir the Squarius Grundlepilf. Oh, yeah, yeah, Resident Ike player. Resident Ike player, yeah, exactly. You saw the tweet. Yeah. We saw, we all saw the tweet. <laughs> we were there for it. Uh, neutral. Uh, Castillo going down in his first stock. I don't, have I, has Pyre even come out yet? Uh, a little bit. I, I wasn't paying attention. Dash dances. Look at that neutral. What? Yeah. That's uh, a good, that's a Castillo thing right there. Um, Castillo literally runs up and grabs all the time. It's the funniest thing to me. Like, it's if, a good idea, as Palu. No, it, I mean yeah, she's got a good grab. Don't get me wrong, but like Jesus, like literally like full stage run up grab. I'm like go do something else. <laughs> like, <laughs> there yeah, there's Pyro. Hi Pyro. Ooh yeah, caught with the wide end of the down of the down air. I have a hard character to uh, down air though uh, off stage. Pyro Mithra or uh, no I mean, Palutena. Palutena. Yeah. Yeah, kinda. Any teleport recoveries are pretty hard to like. It's pre you can be pretty ambiguous with it. Um, yeah. Ooh, yep. Cause you're struggling to land. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Big W. Didn't hear a word of what that guy said, he, but he, I'm proud of him. He beat Fume. Ooh. I guess that's an upset. I have no idea. I don't. I don't know like where they stand in skill level with each other. But you know what? We gaming. Yeah. We like, we like upsets. Oh, okay. right now though. <laughs> that's rough. That's a mentality check. How you miss that? Castillo is kind of struggling. How does he miss that? Because not only could you just go off and get it, but like on top of that, you can run up and just counter that as well as Palutena. Yeah. You could be extra dead. Uh, you can forward smash it. <laughs> oh, sauce. No it wouldn't sauce. have spiked, but it was sauce though. It does not spike. No, it doesn't. Is but... that move isn't capable of doing that? But you know what it can do? Make you accidentally air dodge. True. And then die anyways, which is the ultimate spike. He's dead. Yep. DI it. Oh, goaded. Oh, yeah. Goaded DI. I actually hate the kill effect in this game. Um, yeah, now you're dead. I actually hate the kill effect in this game because it gives scrubby players time to DI. <laughs> I didn't know it affected DI, actually. I thought it was just annoying because it's not consistent. That, too. It's also just annoying. But also, like, I have, like, I'm getting, like, mini seizures every time I get a fake kill screen. And I'm like, then I have to refocus back in. Like, how am I supposed to pop off if I get lied to? The game lies to me, and I, like, how am I supposed you. to do a backflip? Yeah, the game gaslights you constantly. Yeah, I'm get exactly. I'm getting gaslighted by Smash Ultimate. Just like half of the community. <laughs> Games are pretty fun to enjoy when you're not, like, angry on the internet all the time. For real. Yeah. I've been noticing that since I kind of quit. Castillo. No, the Ken is actually pretty solid. All right, pull out the Ken. Pull I don't think the Ken is good versus a New England PR player. <laughs> think about it. True. Think about it. Also, I... also, Pelka has good practice versus uh, Hat, which is like a cra like cracked Ken. Oh uh, yeah. So unfair, but you know, Castillo built different though. You know, it doesn't matter. Castillo's just better. Like, did you see that focus in neutral that had no effect? <laughs> that pivot grab was ridiculous. I hated that actually. Don't do it again. That's toxic. He's dead, right? No, ooh, doesn't D get the short. Does you can... all the wrong things. I don't know if that would have killed though. All right, I think he's playing Ken wrong here though. I'm gonna keep it you. Why is he approaching? Oh, you're uh, dead. Ooh, nice nah. DI. Yeah, that's not as guaranteed as it looks. He's at like, least at yeah. very he's specific like, percents. He's like, yeah, I'm a pyro man. <laughs> yeah, the pyro pyro like do have a lot of options to break uh to break focus. Pyro up smash actually hits twice. Yeah, I know that. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. The first one does 30% to you, and then the other one kills you. Yeah. <laughs> you just explode. What, just what she needs. She needs it. That's rough. Yeah. You want to know what you should have done there? Focused. No. Yeah, it would have ate all that. Doesn't do enough damage. No, I think it's amount of hits that breaks focus. It's percent. Is it percent? Yeah, it's percent. I thought it was amount of hits. Because no. that's, how, that's how it works in Street Fighter 4, is it's, it, it armors one hit. What game were we playing? Uh, Street Fighter 5. Listen, this is this is child's game. This is this is playground fun. Smash Ultimate, all right. 
That DI was insane for no reason. Uh, Ken's got a good bit of weight to him. Is he thick? I oh, he's, like a, he's a little thick. Yoshi's gotta be thicker. Uh, I think it's probably pretty comparable, actually. Yoshi's a 107 weight. That's the only frame data in anything I know in this entire game. I have no idea. Somebody told me he was 107 weight one time, and that's literally all I've ever learned. I have no idea what frame my jab is. Yeah. But me neither. Mostly because, like, the game just refuses to tell you. That was an uh, interaction. <laughs> but the third Lightning Buster finally connected all the hits. That doesn't that, that work. That would have killed, though. That's yeah. not real. I've been, I've been caught by that, I feel. I don't think that works. If you crouch cancel and you don't get the full knockback, I think you die. Because crouch cancel is a thing in this game. And it does have an effect, and people don't realize how much of an effect it actually has. Yeah. Oh, he's dead. No. Oh, let's go focus. Yeah. Set the token! Oh. Ooh, nice check. Ew. Yeah, no, their sweep's actually cracked. <laughs> that was one of the interactions. <laughs> Video games. Artie, you gotta get replays, bro. <laughs> Listen. He, no, no, there ain't no, Ken, no. Ken threw out the up tilt. Bro, it's like his, it's his fingers, bro. Yeah, but the, the, the back of the sword is like, goes down to her ankle. Oh. And Ken, Ken, Ken's a big man who trains and eats well. Like, he was big, he was big enough to reach that and get bro, clipped bro and just, die. Bro just got beat up by a, like a 5'2 female. Like, she's, I think she's taller than 5'2". Nah, no way. Mithra is tall. No, they're the same height. Are they? They're the same person. Are they really? Yeah. I don't know, though. I don't. I, I can't say they're the same person. There's no way. They are. Pyra's way better. Pyra's well, way better. What? Pyra's way better. Mithra, if Pyra's a 10, Mithra's a 5. <laughs> what do you... What do you... What do you... <laughs> first of all, like, you I said, actually don't actually know you, what you're talking you about. You said they're the same person. They don't look the same. Just, yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Crazy character says Kendrick. Yeah, they're good. There is bear bears up to. I don't even know. I hope we get an exciting match next. Boy, oh boy. And man formerly known as Philly to stream. Oh. Didn't even say your new tag. How disrespectful. Yeehaw! So, who? Sir Desquarius. Desquarius. Yeah. Set up two. Could I get. Alright. We got whatever. <laughs> Set up two. We, we got whatever uh, Philly's new tag is versus uh, Chill Shroom. This will be uh, interesting. Uh, we're going to be seeing the Ike, allegedly. And if I'm not mistaken, Chillshroom is a uh, Mario player. Hello. They're getting ready right now. Oh, there we go. Getting the earbuds in. Oh, hello. Hello, testing, testing. I can hear you just fine. Awesome. Can you guys hear me on this mic? Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Am I really loud? Uh, no, you're I... louder, but like not super All right. loud. All right. Yeah. Got a nice soothing, calm voice. Yeah. From the from the ether. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So Chill Shroom plays Mewtwo. I actually played oh. him just the other day at Smash the Line. I could. Really? I, <laughs> I thought he played Mario. Um. Nope. I was really, talking out my ass then. Really, uh, you know, such a tough character to play and with not as much reward as you might want. Yeah, me, I, Mewtwo a little struggle bus in this game. I won one of the, I won the set because I clipped Mewtwo's giant tail with a gyro. Yeah. It, like it just wouldn't have hit most other characters and. And we got. Not, yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. Wait, I was going to say, it's it's going to be rough because Mr. D. Squarius is going to be playing Ike. So I'm that's, sure. a, that's a lot of nares to be clipped by. K3H, I don't think Mewtwo is bad. I just think, like, there's a lot of quote-unquote good characters in this game, right? Most of the characters in this game are good. Yeah. They're just, you know, you've got another... Oh, he really is playing Ike. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I saw, uh, he played Ike against 6AM uh, last week, and it was a... Uh, one of the matches of all time. 
as they say. I do well, think see Mewtwo does then. have a lot of strengths, though. For sure. I think Shadow Ball is one of the best... Yo. Could That could have been something really silly. That was almost, like, nasty at round start, too. Yeah. But before, like, that happened, I was going to say, Shadow Ball, I think, is one of the best projectiles in the game. I yeah, think it's, it's super good. It got buffed a lot, so it's really good for... You can spam it a lot in neutral. Really cover. Ooh. I yeah. saw what he was trying, but... Unfortunately, the Nair is nothing like it was in Smash 4. Like, they gave Mewtwo's Nair to Pikachu. Yeah. I think it's still a decent Nair, but yeah, it's kind of a shadow of its former self, as you said. Ooh, nope. Uh, not the best punish on that forward smash. Ooh, that might kill Mewtwo. Oh, barely. So light. They they buffed Aether's kill pad. This will kill. Yep. I, I was surprised how early that move kills. It didn't always, but... You know, Chiltrum's actually doing doing pretty good here. Ooh, ooh that tricky. That was crazy. Nice. Again, surprise no F smash. Oh, man, Ike's recovery is so good. Yeah, it's, I think it's underrated. Uh, I think it, it's easily uh, foiled by certain characters, but not, I don't think Mewtwo is one of them. Yeah, the thing about Quick Draw is that you can kind of, if you start it high enough, you can kind of read your opponent's option and choose to go high or just go to the ledge and avoid, and most characters can't cover both. Oh, up smash, what a... Ooh. Okay, finally. Would up smash have been, uh, been fast enough? I mean, he was above him. It just had to do it out of shield. Yo. That was wow. kind of nice. And evened up just like that. Chiltrum's movement with Mewtwo is honestly very impressive. If I do say so myself. Yeah, a lot of good use of the teleport. It's very subtle, too. Like the way he just moves around characters. Ooh, Ooh trade that Chiltrum did not win. Back throw? Not just not good. enough. Yeah. One more pummel might have done it. <gasps> oh, wow, that caught uh, spot dodge. That's crazy, actually. This will kill. Oh, wow. Oh! I throw was throw expecting throw. the back throw. Mewtwo's got the coolest throws. I love the F throw where he just throws you forward and pounds you with... His item hold is also the coolest, where he's like... Just levitating. levitating. Yeah. Oh, it's wow. It's probably also that... really easy to animate. Yeah. And the jab, that jab is so good, too. Like, Stop look at, holding look in! Look at all that damage. My god. Oh. Oh, Almost. he tried to be... If he had just done ups... He should have just done up smash from the... Under the platform. Yeah, honestly. I think all the oh, hits man. still will connected, or at least most of them. This is still a really good spot. Ooh, Ooh. that was scary. Kind of played with fire there for, yeah. for a second. And surprisingly, I don't think we're seeing a lot of nares from uh, from just square. Yeah, Phil, uh, Chillstrom's still in a really good spot. Ooh. Ooh, went for the mix-up. I guess it's not kill throw percent plus no rage. Oh, wow, the fake wow. edgeguard did it. Yeah. Oh, wow. Great stuff from Chiltrum. Yeah, honestly, you know, really impressive showing. It didn't, you know, it didn't, he he, he got, Philly got that first kill with the Aether, but he was pretty much losing that first stock, and in that second stock, he had that crazy combo that took him from, like, 0 to 70. So, yeah. like, yeah, I knew that, of course, he's switching back to Yoshi. Now it's real. That's now crazy. It's, so hey, you know you you switched Philly off Yoshi, so that's a victory. Yeah. I mean off 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 his secondary. One Let's of them see. at least. <laughs> now Yoshi much harder to edge guard even than Ike is. So definitely. But, uh, that fair and that tail might be able to break the armor. So who knows? Yeah, actually you're right. Although you still gotta be careful. Yoshi has many ways to kill Mewtwo. Yeah. Uh, one thing that might come in handy is Mewtwo has, still has a really good uh, air dodge. True. That, you know, is going to disrupt Yoshi's attempt to juggle, so... Uh, not not, the, not the, the strongest jab block, but damage is damage, and kind of has a uh, chill stream in the corner here. Yeah, and again, Yoshi's not that heavy, but the, the, the weight difference is going to really come into effect here. Chill stream making really good use of that forward tilt. Really solid poke. Yeah. And the inner uh, hurt, hurt, the sweet spot on the inside is really strong, too. Yeah. I keep forgetting it has, like, a weird reverse tipper. 
Ooh, got the read that time. Almost got the kill. Yeah, Yoshi a bit too weighty for that forward air to kill, but decent punish. This probably not. Oh wow, wow. maybe bad di. Maybe he was expecting the forward throw. Maybe yeah. Wow, chills from up a stock. Uh oh, that does a lot of damage. The, the the amount of hits done on fully charged shadow ball is actually kind of insane. You have so much time to run up for a follow up. It's that dark energy. Yeah. Or I should say ghost energy. Well, it goes deep for it and it rewards him for it, too. Yeah. Decent amount of damage already, too, and gets the uh, the egg lay. Uh, Chilchum has gotten away with those falling nares a lot. I don't know Definitely. if Philly's unfamiliar with it or... Ooh! Oh, that almost killed. Wow. A very quick reversal of fortune here. Yeah, suddenly it's, the percents are just about even. Please do not... Oh! Okay, okay yep. Yeah. <laughs> wow! All right, Philly down to his last stock. I'm like, oh, yep. The up smash it landed eventually. Yeah, <laughs> just had to wait a stock. Yeah. It's like the clip of Shulk landing the shield break. Side B's off the stage, and side B's off the invincibility platform to kill him. I've seen that. Yes. It's so funny. All right, uh, Chillstrom. It's about even. He's he's still he's still pulling out new Mewtwo tricks though, which yeah. oh my no, God, way. no way no I didn't yeah. no way I was Not gonna say Yoshi. still uh, just don't don't get killed off stage here. This is really scary. This is yeah. kind of where uh, Philly like excels in these like really tense situations. Always really like able to yep yep doesn't even Pulls need it to off. spike. I was gonna say the the percent he. Hey, Chilchum had a sizable lead in percent, but it's just so easy to die as Mewtwo. I think Philly's comeback factor is honestly one of his strong suits. Philly does not crack under pressure. No, he. I mean, you saw it as soon as he, as soon as he got the dis, uh, he got, he got hit with the disable, died for it, and then immediately just turned around and up smashed him again. Like, yeah, just kind of a meme to the tricks. Well, you just, you hope Bluetooth still has, uh, Bluetooth, right, you hope Chilchum still has a few tricks left. I mean, uh, Philly uh, has still uh, fallen for the Nair a lot, so we'll see how this goes. Oh, I don't like this pick from Mewtwo. Now, you're not going to be able to kill off the top with up throw. Maybe back throw, but like, yeah, this is kind of a strange pick. Yeah. Ooh, wow. No, no way. way. That... That there have been a lot of close calls. That, that looks like an ultimate pre-release combo. I mean, Chillstrom picking up where he left off. Big combos. Oh, oh smart. Threw a little shadow ball to break the armor, and then still lands the forward till he, like even small shadow ball has a lot of hit stun. Ooh, went for a mix-up. Goes for forward throw. Interesting. Just be careful if you're chilled from here, because you don't want to get. What you don't want to get is, you know. Don't want to get clipped by one of those yeah. Yoshi combo starters, and suddenly you're at kill percent because Yoshi yeah. does a lot of damage. Like this. He was fishing for the grab there, and uh, Philly made him pay for it. Will that kill? It will. Oh yeah, easily. And almost has a fully charged shadow ball on deck, but he parries it. Oh man, just like the last game, uh, Philly not fall, not cracking, immediately taking the stock. Yeah, and a bit of a percent lead here, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, good luck trying to reflect Playing, the eggs. Having a bit of a snowball fight. Oh my god, no way. That's crazy. Oh man. He died for that. Phil, Philly doing some custom combos of his own. Yeah. Oh, these trades are not what you want to see if you're Chill Shroom. No. And now it, Philly's running away with it. So much damage so fast. Yoshi's damage output is honestly insane. Saved himself there. Ooh, okay, Ooh. still made it back. Wow, actually. Chill's well, is not out of it, but this is rough. This is just so bad, because even if he takes this stock like right now, he's at 120, like... Ooh, yeah. He lost so many, jump he lost so many uh, stocks that up smash. So... Good, great stuff from Chill's room, though. Yeah, honestly, really good uh, showing. Yeah, he had. I mean, he had it. So, I'd like to see like Chill's room like a few weeks from now with more practice and uh, experience.
Good luck. And that'll be, uh, impressive. Uh, hello. What are you doing here? Hello, it's me. It's everyone's bra favorite bracket O tour. Already? <laughs> Already. Oh yeah, you fought Fume. I did. Uh, it's rough. It's rough. Coming back and playing Terry at a tournament after not playing a tournament in three years. Mm. Uh, Fume, Fume's a homie though. Fume is a homie. Fume, very nice person. Yeah. Uh, I I came in and swooped a commentary position. They, they, feel free. They can feel free to kick me off whenever they want. Yeah. Uh, all right. So what we got? One of what's? Uh, just browsing Discord. Yeah. Chilling. Chilling. Ooh, we got heinous and uh, a name that will I will assuredly assuredly butcher. A married Amari Trasu. Amari Trasu. Apollo to get here. What? Big upset as far as seating goes. That's Dang. crazy. Apollo Dang. Was, uh, was up there in terms Two of seating. 2-0. Oh. 2-0, Two oh, really? That's convincing. I'm interested to, to see. I haven't... I've, I've, I know I've common, commentated uh, this guy's uh, stuff before, but I don't... It's been a bit. I don't remember uh, who he plays, but Heinous is a very familiar face here. Uh, resident Rob player. Uh, top 8 regular as of recent. Uh, really good player. Also big homie. Yeah, I'm normally in for the P plus side. Uh, oh, that's right. Sa they play. Uh, they play White Samus. Ooh. This will be interesting. Samus and Rob. Interesting. I I've I've seen much Rob in my lifetime. Oh, of course, of course. Mostly from Heinous, actually. Oh, Rob is a pretty uh, prominent character in in the meta right now. I think, right? Definitely. Uh, but. Heinous has been playing Rob before it was cool. But <laughs> before it was cool, the, the Rob hipster. And uh, they, they got plenty of Rob experience under their belt, but Amateur Ross, Ame, Ame Oh my God! Ooh. <laughs> almost had a Ooh. that was almost had a silly moment. The screw attack hit that hit, hits that weird way where it sends you high up for no reason. Uh, but. Amerita Rasu kind of on a tear here, evidently. Oh, yeah. Right now, though, Rob's got you where he, where he wants you. That's in the ledge. Or, abo or, or, her, or above him. Basically not touching the ground. Yeah. Oh, and the spin, wow! Yeah, the spin off stage is a very dangerous play. And, and that was really well spaced, too. Caught it's, him perfectly. Yeah, Rob's spin is one hell of a move. It reflects for some reason. Oh, it sure does. And it's tiltable. And yet, Siltabil, uh, so you can angle it. Yeah. It doesn't consume uh, your jumps. Wild, wild move. Yeah, even before Rob was considered, like, top tier, like, that was always a, a good move. Oh, yeah. All right, well, Amari's got to come back, to, uh, bring back another stock. This is a really scary spot, especially since that forwarder caught out that, uh, that's, that, that, Tether attempt. Yeah. But, oh, oh wow. Is there the charge shot? That's going to kill. Yeah. I, you know, people have complained about Samus in this game a lot. I have not seen a lot of Samus, personally. People, so, people complain about Wi Fi Samus. Well, yeah, but also you're playing on Smash Ultimate Wi Fi. You've signed up for this. <laughs> yeah, that, that guy agrees. <laughs> <laughs> you, you willingly put yourself into, like, the, the, the shit zone. And playing any zoner on on Wi-Fi is is really something, especially on on Ultimate Netcode. Yeah, <laughs> legends. I'm coming up from the ledge, gonna try to fire, and the charge shot misses. But still, but still in a pretty good spot. Still putting Heinous in a in a in a disadvantage here. What gonna run out, gonna run out strength. fuel eventually. True. I mean, oh, gas prices are going down though. Gas gas prices are going down. Yes. Doesn't feel like it, but they are. Yeah. Can we dip below three dollars? Come on, come on. Oh, that Ooh. bear shield poked. Oh yeah. Hey, let's go. And Sam, Samus actually, when Samus gets you to the corner, even off Wi-Fi, does pretty well. But that's an easy punish with the up smash. All right. Kind of neck and neck here, actually. Oh wow, double up air. 
Okay, hold on, hold on. Up air still, uh, <laughs> no, still has trouble connecting all the hits. Yeah, and but... like like all the games. You know, I'm all. I will forever be impartial to Samus. One of my favorite characters. I love Samus in uh, games that aren't this one. Yeah. And Smash Four, and Brawl. Super and Met Melee. Super Metroid is one of my favorite games of all time. In 64, I love PM Samus. Let me correct myself. PM Samus. I love PM Ice Mode Samus specifically. And uh, the other versions are there. Oh, we had a had a silly shield moment where the both players just sto stared at each other in shield. Uh, you know, it was, it was like looking at each other's souls. Smash ultimate moment. And it's not like Smash 4 where that was neutral. <laughs> I, you know what? Looking back on it, Smash 4 had some fun stuff. Oh, a beat. Okay, now, all right. Killing characters at 30 for you was funny. Both both players trying to get some sort of kill option here. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Up uh, air. Rob, up well, air. No. Oh. Sam is heavy. The kill screen lies. This, though, uh, you've expended uh, Zare, oh. so. Oh. No, oh. Yeah. That's a really rough spot to be. Yeah, no. All resources expended. That was. Took a bit out of Heinous, though. <laughs> kind of shaking that one off. That was. That was a rough game. Yeah, Mary put Z Heinous on the ropes there. Yeah, can definitely see why they uh, they beat Apollo. Apollo, a, a very good uh, Lucina and Aegis player. Mm. Taking a sip of the water, gotta take stay a, hydrated. Take a quick sip, stay hydrated. Especially, it's a, it's a warm one today. It's a reminder for all you guys at home. It's, it's, a, it's a hot one today, so definitely. All right. Yo, is Hawk in the chat? Yo. Hawk, uh, former CT uh, Ultimate Legend. Are we talking Shadow Hawk? No, this is a, this is a different guy. Different Hawk, okay. Yeah, yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> be beloved uh, Wolf player. Well, used to be one of the uh, top players here. Now moved to uh, one of the Carolinas as of recent. Ah. But anyway, uh, on to the current match, though. We got we got gyros. We got plasma flying. That's my line. What are you? What do you stay on topic? Sometimes. What is this? This is the Bizarro Space Toast. I, I I talk about the game sometimes. All right. Uh, Heinous once again putting Amari off in the stage like that. Very scary position to be in with the power of that up air. It lasts uh, so long. Yeah. If I was Heinous, I'd I'd kind of be careful being. This high above Samus when uh, when Amare is pretty good at landing those uppies. Oh, oh ooh, it, what happened there? Maybe maybe ex ex expelled too much of the uh, fuel there and wasn't paying attention. Yeah. Well, Amare is now up and is really just gonna let these up airs do some work and not let Rob land for a bit. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Accidental pause. Maybe accidentally hit hit it while grabbing. It looks like they're gonna. It looks like they're playing it out, yeah. yeah. It, it happens sometimes. Sometimes, uh... You get a little too into mashing. Yeah, and your your thumb slips. I don't know why there is no, uh... Hold to pause. It seems like... Every, most other modern game fighting games have it, because it just makes sense. I, avoid situations like this. Well, you know, it's Smash. It's got a lot of things that don't make sense. True. Quality of life is for weenies. <laughs> All right. Both players kind of sitting even here. Yeah, that uh, that that laser really uh brought Heinous back into this. That top is so oppressive. It's really good. I think Samus does have some of the better options of dealing with it, or yep. at least uh, neutralizing it. Yeah, but m missiles just don't provide the coverage that top does, unfortunately. Yeah, missiles ain't what they used to be. They're usable, I guess. They are usable. I think I I feel like they're more usable against someone who doesn't have top and laser. True. Oh, Ooh, up yep. smash. Yep. There it is. Heinous looking to uh to to stop Am Amaterasu's uh, momentum here. Oh wow, we even got the the strong hit of laser where the uh the very front of him also has the hitbox. Yep. This is uh, and now Heinous kind of running away with this. Yeah, Heinous is really doing an amazing job of keeping Amari away from the stage. Yeah, Rob's ledge trapping okay. is uh, some of the best in the game. Amari gonna gonna take the center stage now and try to kind of try to push Heinous off here. 
Zare the top, which was interesting. Yeah. Uh, Bear, Bear will kill. Ha having the Zare as a neutral option is always a, a good boon. Uh, especially in games like this in Smash 4, where it's just a, a generally fairly safe poke. They took Zare away from my boy Link. True. They gave him a bunch of other shit, too. Yeah. I feel like a ho I feel like uh, I want to see more normal Link play. Yeah. Enough, enough of this young Link nonsense. Ooh, dare to up throw. Uh, sorry, up dare to <laughs> down throw to up air. Oh. L luckily for um, for Amare, uh, doesn't <laughs> only gets clipped by the last hit and not all the other hits, allowing them to survive. Yeah. Oh my God, Amari has to put in so much work just to get back to the stage. That, oh, 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 nice oh. drift back, actually. Yeah, the drift back will to the ledge is gonna do it. Uh, uh, Amari is sitting at a very dangerous 180 here. Hanging on for dear life. <laughs> hey, you know what? Any trade that doesn't kill you is a good trade in this situation. That Nair, that Rob Nair, if this big clips is gonna kill. Yeah. Uh, at like 200 <laughs> percent. Yeah. But. Oh, oh! It fell out of the up air. But th these hit, these hits, all oh. this rage. The parry. Uh, oh, 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 oh no! Oh. Just too far away to get the grab. Oh no! Oh. Uh, a bit heartbreaking there, but Anus will go up. To uh, Amare, put up a good fight though. Absolutely heinous. <laughs> Boo! Uh. I'm I I I am funny man. Uh, rivals player. <laughs> don't shun me like this. Riptide already shunned me. They're nasty for that. <laughs> we had ten setups and no friendly setups. They're nasty for that. They they charge everyone ten dollars for after hours and they closed all the setups after hours. I feel like. Y'all should have complained louder about that one. <laughs> like they Yo. were gonna listen. True. It's uh, not. It's not fair. You, your, your game's sick. It. Oh, is this the fabled 6 a.m.? Great. Great. It's it's the six in the morning. The clock is always at 6 a.m. Hold on. I, I, it, it, it appears to be 8:19, sir. It's 6 a.m. somewhere though. It's six. It's 6 a.m. somewhere. True. Not wearing the 6 a.m. hat instead of opting for the uh the shine the shine hat. Uh, six did uh, place 33rd at shine. Hmm. Yo, CT kind of tore up shine actually. Mo a lot. There were like I think like almost half the the top 32 were CT players. I I wish I could be cool enough to have a gimmick like 6 a.m. Oh, you've seen nothing yet. You've I, seen nothing yet. I, I keep an eye on that player cam. Oh, did you ever see the clip recently of the Rivals player eating glue? <laughs> yeah, some of an Ori player of ours, uh, like in the middle of set on stream, he, he, he loses set. He's like, oh, OK. And then he pulls out a thing of Elmer's and just goes. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out it was vanilla pudding. I, I kind of assumed it wasn't real glue. But, like, I wish I came up with that first. Low-key same. That's <laughs> genius. <laughs> he powered up by eating glue, and it was the best thing. Yo, did we get a new marker? Perhaps. You know what this means? Yeah! Let's go! Yeah, oh, it's time. I'll I'll bring like a whole rainbow of expo markers oh, next yeah. time. Shouts to Among Us Arena got a big update. Oh yeah, we gotta play that at some point. They made all the characters different. I know. Yeah, they gave them like moves. That's crazy. Well, we gotta play at some point. I gotta find which one's the grappler. I <laughs> didn't the realization that they're now a grappler. Among Us just dawned on you. Oh, here we go. Incineroar and Mario. Uh, 6 a.m., the best Incineroar in the world in my heart. I am always hyped to see some Incineroar gameplay. And 6 brings the hype, but Tacit, very good Mario in his own right. Oh, there it is. The blur. That, you'll get ready to see that a lot. <laughs> yep. There's a command grab. Oh, did he just, like, taunt his opponent after that? 
Uh, I love when they first figure it out. Six does that basically every single time. That's I, a thing. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you should you should see if he wins the game. I. <laughs> I think I have a new favorite ultimate player. <laughs> Welcome to the club. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Six a.m. strongest soldiers. But Tacit kind of. Oh, oh kinda my God, Mario up air. <laughs> Oh, I need to be a little more quiet, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I Absolutely I told you. Wonderful. You should see him play Luigi in P plus. He hits the dab every time he up smashes. Oh, he served him. There was a receipt, and he died. Oh. Serve. I've been calling it the pizza hand. That's also a good one. Incineroar might be the might be the poster boy character for bad character with good moves. Yep, yep. Oh, oh yeah. No fear. You can't have fear when you play this character. <laughs> oh, this guy's great. P possibly the most beloved. CT Smash player in both uh, P plus and uh, and Ultimate plays a lot more Ultimate these days. Currently uh, number seven or eight on the on the PR. The the spot of number six was robbed from him. No, oh. it would have been perfect. I that you know what? I I I would respect him if he just just always tried to stay at number six. Yeah. Blur. God, Incineroar down tilt is maybe one of the best down tilts in the game. That move actually like confirms into anything at any percent forever. It's great. Uh, honestly, Incineroar is like... If you I got... took the time to learn it, I would probably play Incineroar. God, that did so much to... No way. Yeah, no, that, that first up air was a revenge hit. Yeah. Uh, I've seen some nasty stuff with revenge from Six. It, it, revenge? I... I feel like revenge is the best counter in the game. It's up. I think it's up there. Because you can base. It basically makes any of your hit like sauce. Yeah. Nair, not quite gonna kill. Good DI from Tacit. Uh, Tacit also uh, no stranger to making top eights at Hogs himself. Mm -mm. Play. I plays. I think a lot of the uh, the Mario Brothers, except you know, except for Doc. <laughs> but who plays Doc? Okay, I tried to cape the recovery, but a little too late on it. Yeah, a, a well-placed cape will doom Incineroar. Of course, yeah. Mario Ooh. cape. Ooh. That did 34%. Yep. Mario cape is very good. Mario has a lot of good tools in Alien Incineroar, but 6 Aim is real smart about how he uses recovery options. Yeah. Almost never without his jump off stage. Absolutely. Nice off smash. Yeah, no, at 6 a.m., definitely trying to recover low, because that's probably where it's most dangerous for Mario to try to challenge it. Yeah. Oh, nice way on Tacit to get to get that re-grab, but Incineroar does find the revenge, so you gotta be careful. Oh, that's gonna oh. do so much damage! <laughs> Great! No. All right. Ooh, somehow avoids that uh, command grab. That's a dead Mario. He's great! <laughs> That's a <laughs> that's a dead that's a dead character and a half. Dead plumber. But we got the up air strings. This is it's really hard for instance to deal getting out of that. You gotta essentially bet it on a revenge or uh, have God like the eye. In my in my scene, we call that the workshop up air. <laughs> it kind of is. That's every, a good move. Every character in workshop has that up air. <laughs> oh. Oh. Kind of. D double mind game is going on there. Uh, six AM was in was anticipating the uh, forward smash, and Taz was anticipating six AM anticipating the forward smash. Oh, okay, hold on, getting that revenge. Mar Mario could die. <laughs> Mario could just die depending on what he gets hit by. But if Mario gets another hit in, doesn't even matter if it kills, it will get revenge out like this. Yep. At least I think so. It didn't. Wait a it minute. Didn't. No. This will though. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that will just kill. Yeah. It's Mario back throw. Down, down, last stock a piece. Mario could make this happen, or oh. you could get jabbed and explode. Oh, not quite. 
You're actually getting hit by the uh, revenge down tilt kind of was a blessing for Tacit there. Yep. Because down tilt does a lot of things. Killing is not one of them. Normally. I hope. 6 a.m. He's still ahead, but he's... Uh... Tassa is giving him a little bit of trouble. Strange instance of Incineroar struggling to kill. Mm, 160. 169. Let's go, dang step. Ooh, this is this is kind of tense. But every straight. Oh, that's a dead character. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the backbreaker. Intense. And the the, the handshake, the friendly right. handshake. What what happens when 6 a.m. wins? I need to see it. Uh, the clock is uh dechained. Oh. Uh. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. That was, uh... Usually he also just, you know, does the... You know, yeah, no, uh, that's... Great! 6am's six six AM's now my favorite ultimate player. Yeah, yeah. Not that I knew many ultimate player go <laughs> players already. Great! Uh, the classic 6am line. 6am somewhere. Always. Always. We got it. it the, that last uh, game was actually very close, though. Very intense game. Tacit is definitely not out of this yet. Uh, no. Definitely has edited him to uh, make a, a hell of a loser's run. Yeah, no. I'm, I mean, I'm now I'm excited to watch 6 a.m. go through the rest of the bracket. We're probably going to still see him in top eight, so get get ready. Oh, it's going to be great. Are there any of those... Uh, wait, those? How do you pronounce that? Conchos? Those? What? Are there any of those like weird like cookie things? I don't know. Left? Yeah, I think there's a couple. I don't, I don't know if they're even for... They're just for people. I could give you one. Oh! May, may I have one? May yeah, I have one? Yeah, I'll get you one as soon as the set starts. I am a fan. S sir! <laughs> my Now my new favorite ultimate player. Yeah, this is this is his first time. Let's go. <laughs> it's great! Tom, uh, can you get... To get yeah, to yeah, get I'll, get, I'll grab us some conscious. Is that alright? Uh, probably. If art requires money, I can pay him later. Hell yeah. I think I've had these before. Oh, uh, we got Mr. D. Squarius, formerly known as Philly. Uh, the, uh, what I was told to be the Ike player, but normally he plays Yoshi because that's the character he's uh, best known for. But he, we might still see the Ike. Uh, the Ike Spike? No. No, we're not going to see that. <laughs> the Hurricane Ike? His Ike is a character. The, the Yoshi, though, is... I guess you would say I would like to see that. Moat is a uh, go take a hike. Is a player I have not seen before. Uh, I, I I like the breathe tag. So Moat is our Terry player today. One one of many today actually. And decent start. Uh, I'm just gonna call him Philly because that's what his actual tag is. Yep. Uh, not a not a fan of the FGC characters. Has some opinions on. But that that won't deter him from uh from uh, felling them. Oh, yeah, Mo is g gonna go ahead and magnet hands that ledge. Didn't look like that one was gonna grab, but... It's, you know... Oh, yeah. Strange <laughs> icing bread. Casually eating on, on on stream. I like it. Only the only the most professional commentary from me and Space Toast. I've done worse. Alright. Honestly, like... Still fairly even, Ooh. but does get clipped by the burn knuckle. That burn knuckle, like... Uh, it, it's... If you don't... If you don't shield it, you're you're in for a bad time. It's rough. Terry's got go. That can only mean one thing. There it is. Ike, heavy enough to not be uh, blown up by that. Uh, interesting that he decided to shoot... Ooh. That's death, yep. yep. This is the game of you have to kill Terry or else he's just going to keep Buster Wolfing you. And you know, there it is. I haven't seen Moat play ever, uh, but honestly, good uh, good first impression. Yeah, honestly. And there's those Ike Nairs coming out. Oh, 
Melt landing some nares, but not really converting off them. Yep. A green Terry. Surprisingly popular color here. I'm a personal fan of yellow Terry. Banana Terry. Shout out to Green Guy, who not only plays Ooh. Terry, but plays caught Green Terry and wears all and wears all green. Nice. Yeah, no, I caught the jump on that one. Yeah, Billy's uh, comeback factor is kind of starting to show here. Billy does not crack under pressure, and has a very impressive, uh, I'll say, spontaneous uh, way of making comebacks. But Ooh. got crossed up by the the power, the power dunk. dunk. Okay. 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 Boat kind of sauced with the uh, with the Terry. Terry is secretly Ness's dad. <laughs> is this the deep lore? Yeah. Oh, uh, switch off to Yoshi. Yep, that's a uh, that that <laughs> that's his real character. Uh, you know. The Ike will be there one day. Right now, uh... <laughs> Moat's still, uh... Getting these good hits in. Oh, but here come the Yoshi Juggles. That does so much damage. 62% already. Let's see if Moat uh, adapts here to the Yoshi. Ooh, yeah, barely makes that back. A little scary there. Yoshi's a interesting character to deal with. Yeah, uh, you really gotta know the matchup for this character or else uh, you'll be in trouble. Yeah. Yoshi's damage output is actually very, very scary. Ooh, wow, Ooh. the power dunk saves his life. Parry on the on the down special, and that is a Buster Wolf death. Yeah, even Parry's the, uh, the star for good measure. Now Moat is gonna but, yep. oh eat up smash. I was about to say Moat was gonna gonna want to keep go, but now they've evened it back up. Yeah, Philly doesn't miss those. Does even get even punishes the crack shoot. I gotta say in this match, right, uh, it, and from what I've seen so far, Moat is kind of the goat. Maybe. No, I, I didn't actually know Nair actually can break egg. That's funny. Yes, I am also watching to learn things to play Terry a little better. Yeah. I was the first match on stream today. I got demolished. It was funny. Ah, you know what? You actually did better than I thought you would. Oh, wow. What a nice call out. That, that, was a nut, that was a really good call out. Billy definitely not out of this yet, though. Oh. D almost did. Oh, yeah, three jabs. Oh, and, into fair. Wow. And he's back in this uh, standard Philly gameplay. Oh, yeah. Here come the damage. Oh, not as many up areas as probably would have liked, but gets the uh, egg. What a mash, actually, from Moat. The other commentator sounds like Ross from Friends. Me or Space Toast? I, please don't associate me with Friends. <laughs> I'm more of a Seinfeld guy myself. How do you feel about Frasier? <laughs> Seinfeld is the only sitcom I need. Yoshi's weight coming in hand, handy there, making sure that rising tackle combo won't kill. Yep. Oh, don't, you gotta watch out for those Yoshi up airs. Those are very dangerous. Both players at well over 100%. Terry's got that go, but it's not gonna do him anything unless he is wow. back on stage. Oh! oh the Buster Wolf, and it kills the him. Buster Wolf. Beautiful. IDK, your name? Hello, I'm Toma, and apparently I sound like Ross from Friends. This is on top of being called a white Vinny Vine sauce. Whatever that means. Are you Italian? Uh, no. I guess so. Alright. Uh, yeah, I'm always always excited to see Terry gameplay. It's, uh, I don't know why, it's just a, such a fun character for me. Jab, jab. Jab, power dunk. jab, power, dunk. Power, <laughs> dunk. Power, dunk. <laughs> moat dub, The yeah. moat dub. Moat the goat. Moat, uh, <laughs> pretty good showing. Yeah, moat. And you know what? I'm a fan of moat the goat. I wonder who we have up next. Could be anyone. Could even be a boat. It could be you. It could be me. It could even be. <laughs> well, long as it could be anything. It could even be a boat. Oh. I got. I got a joke for you. You ready? A man walked up to me the other day. 
It said, I'm a teepty. I'm a wigwam. I'm a teepee. I'm a wigwam. And I said, relax, man. You're too tense. <laughs> what the fuck did you just call me? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to knock the screen behind us. So, what's the deal with airline food? What's the deal with airline food? What is the deal? I've never heard the... Life. Is there like a full version of that joke? Or did, did Jerry Seinfeld actually ever say that? I don't know if Jerry Fe Seinfeld was the one to ever say that joke. I was just associated with Jerry Seinfeld. The joke is something about how, like, if you sit in the back of the plane, you get the worst stuff. It's airline food. It all sucks. Yeah. It's overpriced, because what are you going to do? Go somewhere else? <laughs> You're on a plane, idiot. Yeah, they won't let you bring in your own food and water bottles. Because they hate you. I hate Amer I hate airlines. It's so plain. <laughs> you know what? I respect it. All right, Mother Hacker, you come and commentate. You've clearly got better jokes than I do. I'm being summoned. Hello. Hi. Hello there. Shout out to Heinous. I believe Heinous is going to be on stream. Oh, absolutely Heinous. I hate you. <laughs> Why can't you be normal? I, uh, man. A lot of people have asked me that. I'm sorry. I prefer to be a special command input. Preferably a command grab. You know what? If you have to blame anyone, blame Patinja for getting me into Guilty Gear Strive. It's been downhill from there. Yeah. You saw Pop Buster and that was it? <laughs> Pop Buster changed my life. Ooh, Pelka, Anus and Pelka. Pelka, a uh, top-ranked player in both the world and uh, and uh, uh, New England. All right, going Palu. Uh, you know, I haven't seen Pelka play since before COVID. This used to be like one of the premier snakes. All right, Rob and Palutena. This will be interesting to see. This is, I guess this, is, this might be a good benchmark for Heinous. I've actually never seen him uh, play Pelka post-COVID, so... Well, here comes the here comes the Palutena up airs and nares. Yeah. Uh, I feel like Palu has actually done pretty well against Rob historically. Well, in Ultimate, at least. Uh, yeah. Neither of these characters really existed in Smash 4. I don't like to go off of raw numbers. Let's see how these players play against each other. Yeah. Uh, Pelka... Probably banking on uh, dash attack crossing up, but not close enough for that. Yep. You kind of be, gotta be in there when you start the dash attack for it to go past shields. Even that's a little finicky, but ooh. Oh, did, didn't quite run out of fuel. I love drag down Nair uh, grab as a uh, Palu. Oh, yeah, that up air is gonna kill. Definitely. Big, consistent hitbox. Drag down Nair, uh,. Used to be not really a well-utilized uh, part of Palu's kit, but um, it's nice to see. And here comes the Nair plane. Open wide. Nice parry on Rob's Nair. Palu with the lightning kicks. Yeah. Ooh. Probably a wrong time to throw that one out, but Tex on the Tex on the platform. Definitely. Let's see. Uh, oh, the, oh, good punish on the explosive flame. Yep, maybe, really good uh, punish. Maybe accidentally came out from Pelka trying to mash out of the grab. Yeah, it looks like that might have been an accidental explosive flame. Explosive flame's a pretty decent move, but it's not really something you can throw out willy nilly in neutral. Yep. Uh, Hannes starting to make this uh this deficit uh more a little more even here, but. Oh, the Palu back air gonna snipe out the uh, the laser attempt. Palu Bear is very strong. <laughs> it's quite good, especially uh, that close to the stage. Yep. Even a big character like Rob uh, definitely not gonna survive that. And just uh, getting these up airs. Up airs are brutal. Yeah. Rob is uh, trademark big. So you know, <laughs> so sometimes you don't really have a choice but to eat eat some of this. Yep. Big heavy robot. Ooh, nice oh, forward. Hold on. Forward air to dash attack. He's trying to make for the edge of the stage instead of landing center to avoid those nasty up airs. 
Palka doing such a good job of keeping Heinous at, at like, ledge. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, no, you can't do that. That's, uh, that lingers. No, sir. Yeah, that reflect is, uh... Because it, it puts the screen out and it lingers for a little bit. Yep. So you gotta be, you gotta be a little, uh, you gotta delay the laser. Oh. You mean the business call that a knowledge check? Uh, yeah, it's pretty much a knowledge check. Ooh. Oh! Hanus hey, loves going to the Splatoon music on Sage's The Calamari Incantation, kind of a banger. It all sounds like gargling. <laughs> yeah, so what if they sound like they're, they're, they're gargling, but... I'm enjoying some Sploon 3 in my own time. Oh, just a little far away from the grab on that dash attack block. Yeah. So, uh, FD, what, an interesting choice, considering uh, I've been struggling with these up airs. Not gonna really. really... I, I, see, I see the appeal, though, because you get to do a bit of up air shenanigans yourself as Rob here. Yeah. And, and no platforms, which means it's easier to re uh, read air dodges and react more yep. properly. And actually, a bit of an underrated thing in this matchup, uh, through, nat through the nature of Palu's recovery, it's a little hard for Rob to uh, to, to gimper with side B. Yeah. But, oh, oh the dare's gonna send upward, alright. Yeah, it gets a wonky hit. That was almost a crazy read. Oh, this is semi-final, so we're watching a best of five here. Oh, yep. So even... So even if... Pelka were to win this match, the Hainus has still got time to bring it back, but Pelka is just gonna go ahead and die out there. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that deeply as Pally. I've been there. If I were Hainus, I'd be playing safe right now. Yeah, not, no any real reason to really force anything. Yeah, you can see him drifting back from these fairs. Like, well, he, wants, he wants in, but he doesn't want to go so far in, he's gonna, like, get grabbed. I will say, though, Pallo could be a, a bit of a tricky character to keep out. Mm -hmm. All right, now he's burning fuel. Let's see. Pal uh, Pelka electing to go grab that top instead of edge guarding. It kind of worked out for him. Still got the grab, and that back air will take it. Yep. Hainus did get a good amount of uh, extra credit here for a lead. Decent amount of percent lead, but now he's down at a low percent, so he's going to get nared. Yeah, and Rob gets nared. Rob gets nared a lot. All right. Good, good use of aerial bear movement. Definitely. Ooh, Ooh, nice forward smash. Not quite gonna kill from center stage though. Oh, parry on the nair. The Palkin making making this uh comeback here. Pal is you know Pal's damage output, not nothing into the sees that and ooh hangs off stage a little too long and suffers for it. Yeah, that's a rough dare. What's the uh yep, does get Wow. Good DI, good DI. That's kind of crazy that in kill, but <laughs> can't DI that. Nope. All right, perfectly even. Let's see where it goes. Rob can definitely just get nared a bunch here to get, like, up to 50%. Or more. There, there's a 50%. What did I tell you? Yeah. 69. Oh, wait, there's more? Legendary percent. Let's oh. go, Dangsto. Yeah, that reflect is going to mess you up. It's hard playing a character with projectiles against Palutena. Or most characters with reflectors, honestly. Yeah, but Palutena's is a big big old wall. Yeah, especially if you can throw out more, more than one at a time, it can really catch you off guard. But this is still yeah, this is fairly even. Oh, not... Pelka Taunton? That might have been a misinput. <laughs> oh, I don't know. It could be mind games. Maybe. Oh, wait, oh. no. It'd be lying no, if it no didn't tech. work. Ooh. Unfortunate, that was checkable too. Oh, uh, it looks, uh, looks, yeah, like, looks like it was probably looks an like accident. Yeah, it looks like it was probably an accident. Yeah. I was gonna say, I, I've seen Pelka play many times back in the day and uh, not really want to taunt even a snake. Well, sometimes after, sometimes at ledge. Cause haha, -ha, funny, funny box. Funny, funny. Uh, Pally doesn't have the fun to taunt like that. She cannot will a box into existence. And going back to FD, interesting choice. 
FD again, interesting. It kind of, th there were definite benefits to it last game for Heinous. Absolutely. So I, I, I don't think this is that crazy, actually. Ooh. Oh, all yeah, right. Yeah, double fair. Carrying with the attack. lightning kicks. It can be real, real tough caught without being caught without your jump against this character. Yep. Even at like a non near distance, just you're, you're still getting kind of carried across stage. Despite what it looks like, they're still relatively easy. Even Heinous is putting in this percent. Definitely. It's Ooh. not quite as uh, one-sided as we're making it out to be. Oh, that is not a good trade. Yeah, no. Explosive flame is very strong. Yeah, luckily doesn't kill, but... Yeah, very good move. Oh, wow, it oh, caught. Oh, yeah, nice. A little too uh, low at the ledge for that explosive flame to come out, so Heinous will uh, net that sock, but you gotta be careful now. Here come the bears, and <laughs> it'll hit you eventually. Yeah. Nice parry into the into her own airplane. Also, the officer for, officer an up air finisher, but Heinous able to get out. Yep. Only to get back in. It's sixty nine percent, eighty percent already. Burning away this fuel, got to be very careful. Heinous is uh, go opting for the high route now. Man, was Rob ever run out of fuel? Uh, eventually. <laughs> you don't, you don't see it often because like uh, the the edge guarding in this game isn't as potent as it is in other games. But uh, it, it's possible. He has little lights on his spine. That shows how much fuel he has when he's upping. Really? Yeah, it's extremely hard to see, but they're there. Huh? Yeah, they should just have a bar below his like name. Yes. Like like normal games. I d I don't understand why Smash doesn't do this. Quality of life is for nerds. True. I, at least the light on his head is a little easier to see. Yeah, at least. All right, dash attack almost killing. Ooh. Ooh, good block yep. on the uh, back air att attempt. While I was talking about the lack of quality of life, I didn't realize that Pelco is down to his last stock. Oh, yeah. Well, they're both on last stock now, but Heinous has got this 50, 25, like 20% lead. Never mind, not much of a lead anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's Pally versus is Rob. This is a bit of a volatile matchup. Exactly. Quality of life is for nerds and DLC characters. Tries to dash attack the laser. That works sometimes. You gotta be kind of specific, though. Yeah. Both both players are kind of racking up percents. Now we're getting to the range where something's gonna got something's gotta kill. Goes for a hail mary side beam, cost him the game. But oh, hold on, ba Bear didn't quite not. kill. That'll kill them. That will kill. Yep. A well placed explosive flame to seal the deal. A well placed explosive flame is gonna. Make that set a 3-0. Definitely. Absolutely amazing. Tighten my ponytail here. Just, I do not, I do not miss having long hair. Yeah. I remember the ponytail. Yeah. No. It. Uh, let me tell you. Ever since I switched, uh, shut, cut off the ponytail, life has been much easier. Oh yeah. No need for hair ties. Saves you money on shampoo. Saves you money on shampoo. Don't have to worry about the fucking shedding. The shedding's a little annoying, yeah. Yeah. No, I, ju I just like, one day I was like, yeah, I've had enough. I cut it, donated the hair. If I, if I do, like, you know, go back to short hair, it will be because of the shedding. Yeah, it's the worst part. It's pretty annoying. Oh, uh, it, it, once it got, as, my hair, when I cut it off, was longer than yours now. Um, yeah, it was not pleasant. Just uh, showering with it is obnoxious. I don't mind the showering with it. Uh, waiting forever for it to dry is a little annoying. Mm, definitely. Yeah, because sometimes I need to take a shower and get out the door. I used to have real short hair, and like I, I shower, shampoo it up, rinse, repeat, and like within like five minutes it's dry. Yeah, no. I I, I went to my I went to my uh, hairdresser. I'm like, I want the Obi Wan Kenobi. Give me the give me the Obi Wan Kenobi. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's grown out a little since then, but yeah. I wonder who's up next. 
Are we in top eight? Who knows? I don't. I don't know. I'll I, never I know. I never have the bracket in front of me. I don't. I I haven't logged into Smash GG in years. I, I'm or here. Or where the fuck they call it. I'm here patiently waiting for someone to knock me off the, the commentator's bench. True. Because, I, honestly, someone more knowledgeable should probably be doing top eight. I know things about this game. I used to play it. Ooh. Ooh hold on. Never mind. Uh, forget what I just said. I want to. I, I want to see more. 6 a.m. Great. Great. Please don't go to Skyloft. It would be, there we go. Tried and true. PS2, the best games. Basically, just small battlefield. Larger small battlefield. Larger small battlefield. That's not. <laughs> I was gonna say that's not a center roar. All right. Getting right into it. Moat uh, made a pretty impressive showing against Philly earlier, so this will be interesting. 6 a.m. and Moat the Goat. Six uh, looking to defend his uh, hog champion status. Right now, Moat kind of doing pretty well here. 74% already on Incineroar. Yeah. F tilt into, into crack shoot. Definitely going to rack up a bit of percent. Yeah, even doesn't even need the go. Mm, this, is, this is getting dicey. Yeah. Uh, has yet to actually uh, crack Moat's uh, defense here. Oh, yeah, that, that shield looking a little small. The shield looking a little small and didn't quite for, didn't quite anticipate the auto turnaround that Perry that Terry has. Really uh, strong tool there. And wow, mid screen, even killing in center where the uh, down tilt to uh, to uh, now, hard I knuckle. Be, I could be uh, uh, I could be wrong, but I think that was the command input hard knuckle, too. So that was like the full strength one. I just imagine anyone who's actually seriously, seriously playing Terry is not using the B versions. Yeah, I, I don't, I, I'm not a good Terry, and I don't even use the B versions. Yeah, there's, there's no real reason to, unless, uh, unless you're like recovering. Yeah. Like, there's no real reason not to. All right, Terry's got the go. This is, this is scary. That was definitely the B version, I think, of Crack Shoot. Ooh, uh, wow, still makes it back, but still well, makes it back, but the, I think that was I couldn't quite tell was that belly flop nair or was that bear? I think that was bear that, that took the stock belly flop nair did send him back off stage though That belly flop nair is disgusting. Actually. Oh, it's amazing. It's like I, I, I'd argue top five nairs in the game It's so good Despite despite like immense competition We call that the isn't that called like a splash uh, splash B area? Body, spl body splash. Yeah. Yeah. Every grappler needs one. Pot's got the, you know, the the, the, the arm cross splash. Oh, rising tackle combo will kill. Yep. No, that's that rising tackle is kind of ridiculous when you think about it. It's got full armor. Yeah. That, well, it's invincible. Uh, invincible. Yeah. Because it's a, it's technically a flash kick. Because it's a charge reversal. Now here's a question: Will Terry be able to keep the go? Because. Incineroar can kill very no. easily. Oh, doesn't get the uh, the forward air after landing it. Mm. Terry on stage. No, he's super oh, dead. Super dead. Oh, he exploded. Now I'm not I'm not too familiar with Incineroar's throws. Which one is the kill? Which one is the kill throw? Yes. Oh, good. I mean, I know it didn't matter because he had revenge, but up throw kills, back throw kills. You don't see for you don't see forward throw often, but it kills. I don't even know what Incineroar word down. Oh, Incineroar down throw doesn't kill, but it, it can lead to fucking at zero percent. He gets down throw. Oh my oh, god, he's dead. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, uh, at zero percent, uh, he he gets down throw lariat, which is the <laughs> stuff of nightmares. Uh, bless six a.m. is great. Bad character. Oh, you know, uh, uh, Riptide was sponsored by Papa John's this year. Papa John's been sponsoring a few ads. It's hilarious. I hear their, I hear nothing but bad things about their pizza, but also I just, I just can't, can't get out of my head. I, I I've would, had, I've had over 40 pizzas in the past 30 days. The day of reckoning is coming. I was, I was going to commentate for rivals. Maybe it's like a backfill. And, Where do you uh, get free pizza? No, we were actually not allowed to eat the pizza. What? <laughs> I know. What's we, even the? What are they even you, doing there? You, you weren't even allowed to say anything along the lines of "better blank, better blank." 
What the fuck were they doing there then? I don't know. But there Ooh. was ca there was catering for commentators. Oh my god, that's nice at least. Oh, oh. yeah, no, they, you're you're kind of you're kind of damned there. Yeah, no, it's it's kind of hard for Terry. And this is a, a pretty good start for 6 a.m. here. Yeah, but 6 a.m. could just lose the stock to a random rising tackle. Don't forget. You, you could also say this about Terry. You could lose the stock to insert incident or move here. Yeah, rising tackle is very strong. You might be at revenge dying percent now. Yeah, depending, right? Yeah, it depends on what what certain revenge is and what he hits you with. Yeah, that. Ooh, or you could just die here now. This is looking dicey. Luckily, nice delay on Moat's uh, yeah. recovery there to avoid the revenge. Also, good on Moat for not panic jumping. Yeah. That is my that is my greatest sin when playing this game. He oh, grabbed I that. I I heard it. That that uh. That, uh, and he Buster Wolf was going dunked out. the power dunk. Yeah. The, oh, he, you might die. Okay, okay, okay. It's gone now. It's, it's gone. gone. All right, but everyone, we're safe. I, I can sleep soundly. <laughs> we're safe. Fun fact, the last time I ever uh, I ever competed in Smash Ultimate, I got double Elim by 6 a.m. It was the best I ever did at a local. Mm. I'll take it. I. Oh, you're dead. Oh, you're done. Yeah, no, that's it. It's, it's always... It's a salt-inducing thing to get double e limp by someone. I, you know, I can't get mad at 6 a.m. Oh no! You, how could you? You sit next to this lovely man and you're just having fun. That king. Oh man, I've been to Smash Fest at Six's place. It's great times. 6 a.m. You dropped your crown, King. <laughs> that, no, it doesn't come off. It's like Kevin's hat. <laughs> I didn't know this was a hat. It wasn't. Potentially the last game of the set here, though. Boat, despite have, like putting up a good fight, 6 a.m. tends to come out on top here. Going back to PS2 for maybe the last game here. All right. I'm just trading blows here, but I, I don't know if you'd want to trade with Cinderor. So Call those GameStop trades. <laughs> oh, unfortunate. Uh... Miss input there gets rising tackle instead of something that isn't that. Uh, right there, yeah. It's hard to play Terry. I at, at a high level, I'll, I'll I'll agree. I think. Oh, okay. Hold on, that kill. I for I I, I don't know that that the uh, falling into the background animation didn't like register in my brain. That actually killed. Yeah, that happens. Pretty good uh stuff from Moat here so far. Kind of. Found a bit of momentum here, kind of running with it. Even uh, doesn't fall into the uh, down smash trap. Ladies and gentlemen, we have witnessed the unthinkable jab, jab, power dunk. That's crazy. Imagine. Uh, Bo kind of riding the lightning here. I hate that super. It's fine. Just block. Ah, uh, yes, I am in one wall. Now we're at the other wall. Oh, that was My actually a Lord. really yeah. That was a trade. Honestly, pretty good trade 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 for Moat. Lost go, but Banana... a stock's a stock. Exactly, banana Terry, best Terry. That's what I'm saying. I prefer mustard Terry. No, 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 banana Terry. No, it's mustard because he loves hot dogs. Do you want a banana? <laughs> did I t did I tell you that when I played the already pl already plays that song here sometimes. Did I ever tell you that uh, when I lost in the monkey bracket, my opponent was singing Do You Want a Banana the entire time? It, the it, whole set. Tally Hall is forever. And you know what's also forever? Uh, 6 a.m. is somehow back in this. Yeah. That, oh, no! That did so much damage. Oh, my God. You got hit by a forward air. Now you're losing. And another oh, revenge. that yeah, that, that would have killed. Been insane! Oh my lord! 6 a.m. It's not. It's not. A, it's not a hog until 6 a.m. Oh, they, hey, jab, jab, power dunk, ladies and gentlemen. That barely killed. Oh, F fun, fucked up, and kind of depressing fact. Uh, original bananas haven't existed for decades. Yeah. <laughs> bananas just g nature's. We've genetically, genetically engineered them over and over. Yeah. We, because they keep dying, because they're a very volatile fruit. They're all clones of each other. Yeah. 
They're the royal family of fruit. Oh, are we going? Oh, okay. Going over Kirkington. Ooh, all right, all right. What's, what, I didn't see what song. Was that? I saw KOF. Yeah, it's something street. We'll, we'll see. We'll see, hopefully. Yo, look at him vibing. Yeah, that did. Let's go. Want well, to see what song this was? Wild okay, Street. Wild Street. KOF 13. Good soundtrack. Reminds oh my god. Reminds me of my hero, Zacky Wild. Oops, Wild. <laughs> I think Zacky Wild played KOF in real life. Okay, nice delay. delay. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta do that. It's smart. It, it's both really cool and really infuriating that Rising Tackle goes up through the ledge. Because it gets you stuff like that, but it can also get you countered. Yeah, or you can play Lucina and just down tilt it forever. Mm -hmm. It's so funny. Well, even Perfectly then... spaced. Oh, Buster the armor off saved the him. Ledge. Yeah. Wow, doesn't shield break. And no. he even leans back for the back throw. Oh, uh, God bless. Can we get 6 a.m. to, to suplex uh, <laughs> Moat in real life? That would probably result in a ban. <laughs> I mean, probably. You know, unfortunately, 6AM does not have hungry box status where you can just kind of do whatever you want for some reason. Yeah. Actually, what a punish! It you died for it, but you know you died that's for it, but that that's... was that was a like that was a high percent stock anyway. Oh. Oh, that's some that's some percent racking up. Oh, maybe a missed input with that power dunk, but luckily it doesn't go immediately punished. I gotta say, Moat's recoveries have actually been really good. Yeah. Uh, and you're dead. No, 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 oh, no, 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 that's not death. He's got go. He might be able to eke something out here. A down tilt can make, can perhaps do the start of something magical for Moat here, but might be preying on a miracle here. Mm, yeah, that splash near is just sending a soul. Oh, no, you're dead. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're dead. In center, down tilt, top five down tilts in the game free. 6 a.m. taking out Moat the Goat, send him to losers. It's right up there with Mithra down tilt. It's not as fast, but you can get a follow up off anything. Mm, mm, mm. Off any percent, I mean. And, for, and usually it's a forward area, which at ledge is usually a kill. Of course, yeah. But uh, convincing a uh, 3 1 from 6 a.m., uh, Moat not out of it yet, though. I, I, It's not the last we're going to see of that fellow. If I uh, do say so myself. Oh, yeah. All right. I wonder who we got next. We have a Smash player versus another Smash player oh. up next. Oh, my lord. The legendary. Could you imagine if it was a Rivals player? They're in your walls, like the PM players. <laughs> They're in your walls. You know, the person next to you could be a Rivals player. You never know. I, I love the in-your-walls kind of fighting game. The Melty Bloods, the Rivals, the PMs. We're also... In Ooh, Dusk. Ooh, Dusk, eh? I haven't seen Dusk in a minute. Dusk is a very, uh, very good Kazuya player. Dusk and Desquarius. I I can't take that tag seriously. Hey, what the, too bad it's there. You, you, you haven't you haven't heard the full version. <laughs> I don't I can't even remember all of it. It's a lot. Desquarius. Philly is a character. Ah, Zuya. <laughs> I, I I don't care what anyone says. I love Kaz Kazuya. Kazuya. This character is hilarious. I'm, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. <laughs> Down, forward, forward, A. <laughs> Vine, boom, sound effect. <laughs> I, uh, this character's great. Look at him go. I Honestly, like, I I love Kazuya's grab animations. They're, they're unironically really cool, actually. Yeah. Did you know they don't actually... The, the camera doesn't actually change in doubles? Oh, well, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. But it changes back when it's 1v1. Oh, laser beams. This is gonna kind of be a weird matchup, actually. Right now, though, Philly, Philly doing a good job com uh, controlling the pace of the game. Oh, Although, yeah. Kazuya's in rage mode, so... Uh, all your dreams could be melted away. But the oh. reverse hit of Nair actually The reverse killed. hit of Sex Kick. Yoshi Nair... Incredible move. <laughs> Everyone's favorite series, Banjo Kazuya. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's a dead character. Yep. 
Electric Wind God Fist. No, I don't think that's electric. I don't think that's the uh, the true one. That's that's the electric. Ah. Because it, it puts you in a billion years of hit stun. Kazuya, it's so weird. Like, no matter how much time has passed, it's still weird seeing Kazuya here. I mean, Bandit Namco works on this game. I know, but it's, he's just a guy. Yeah? He's a normally proportioned human being. Well, except for the hair and the, oh, and the yeah. demon stuff. And his uh, prized sneaker collection. That's real. <laughs> look, at, look at his fit, though. He, he's, he's got drip. He's got the drip. This is for sure. He's a, he's a man who knows how to dress. And he's dead. <laughs> he knows how to get feared. He knows how to get chucked off ledges. <laughs> Unfortunately, Hayashi uh, couldn't, couldn't make it into Smash, mostly because I think his voice actor passed away. Uh, Unfortunate. All right, I want your prediction. Uh, is there going to be another Smash game within the next 10 years, or are they just going to continue DLC like they did with Mario Kart? They're not going to continue DLC for this game. Uh, it's it's over, over. Uh, I can see it in maybe in the next 10 years, but probably in the later half. And, you know, and it'll be very different from what we've seen, which yeah, is what I want. We all thought Mario Kart 8 was done with. No, we didn't. <laughs> maybe, what is this we you speak of? I, I, I don't speak French. I don't, you, you, there's no way you saw the Mario Kart DLCs coming. The, the Nintendo's, it's Mario Kart, they're gonna run with that. Oh, okay, Use, using, using the aerial momentum to get down there and back up. Also, the game does not need more DLC. Like, there's like 90 characters. The roster is fine. Yeah, but <laughs> it's done. They're never gonna get all the character rights again, and you know it. Yeah, but like they don't need to. Like, it it, it would be cool if the next Smash game is like different. Oh, that's not death, but that that's hurts. That's not death. Actually, didn't really send Yoshi that far. Actually, oh, man. you gotta be real careful though if you're if you're Philly. Or Disquarius. Disquarius. Yeah, no, Dusk Dusk is very quickly evening up that percent. You're, you're a kill you're a kill percent. Yeah, but that ooh. Yeah, that the, the the funny funny kill screen, but Yeah. That is not a trade in your favor. Still though, Dusk managed to bring it to the wire there. Yeah, addressing all black clearly here for his own funeral. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, there's a dead guy in here. You see the Scott the Waz funeral episode? I haven't watched a Scott the Waz video in like years. Man, Scott the Waz is honestly one of the best YouTube creators. I can't. I, I've grown to not be able to stand a lot of YouTubers, especially in the gaming space. I said a lot, not all. Cal calm down, princess. <laughs> Wait, you're technically a YouTuber. Don't don't rub me into this. Don't. Don't insult me like that. <laughs> You've been dead multiple. Don't, don't, don't throw that derogatory term at me. You heard it here first, folks. Space Toast to the YouTuber. Ooh. Oh, hold on. All right, hold on. The, the, the Kazuya side B is always such a strange move to me. Okay, wave that Wave. Uh, uh, sorry, wave land out of egg. Because he has a real wave dash in this game. Oh, it's true. Tekken invented it. It's fine. But can you Korean back dash? Oh, all right. Rage mode. Here we go. Rage on top of rage, honestly. That's a that's a dead Yoshi of this lands. Yeah. It's a properly exploded dinosaur. Right now, though, Philly kind of... Dinosaur meet meteor. I don't even know what hit. Uh, Philly died. <laughs> yep. Gotta love me my comeback mechanics on characters. All right, rage mode's done with, I think. Now yeah. Got normal smash rage and gone. Honestly, like Kazuya rage mode isn't like I don't think it's that offensive. Like it. Yeah, it's like a really strong move, but it's only like one move. Yeah. It's no Arsene. Arsene. That's a comeback mechanic. Mm, agreed. Still though, for, oh, uh, the, the armor saving him actually, but he's dead. Oh yeah, guy hit, hit with the electric wind. Ooh, gets another electric, but 
the uh, the town and city pick actually. Oh, dared right to the blast zone. That's not good. No, but that's they, a that's a stock thrown away. They are definitely even. Yeah, I guess in another electric. Here comes the funny Kazuya stuff, but <laughs> armor's the electric. Bless Yoshi, uh, jump armor. He needs it, like unironically. This character would be unplayable without it. Mm -mm. You get hit, so you get hit off stage once you're dead. Interesting. Oh, Yoshi's always kind of been an interesting design to me. I, oh, even though I don't like floaties. Ooh, this oh, is scary. Uh, yeah. Philly, the, the crazy part is Philly is still very much in this. Oh, those up airs though. Yeah, those up airs can steal a game. He's Gotta be careful though. Uh, Disquares is gonna be real careful this rage. Yeah, yeah, good punish. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, that's rough. That's real rough, buddy. Kazuya Mishima wins. Yeah, it's so sick. He gets the Tekken announcer. Man, they Sakurai really cares about the DLC characters. It's nice. Oh, oh! I like the attention. Bring up the target. <laughs> I'm surprised there are even custom stages there. Uh, are we allowed to? to are no, we allowed? <laughs> no. Are we allowed to gentleman the target? <laughs> don't don't hit me with that gentleman shit. Uh, have you ever uh, have you ever heard of the bracket bad things? No. It's oh wait, is that the one where it's like best of one? It's single elimination. You're allowed to gentleman to anything. What? Anything. Oh, they're wild. Other games. Other games. You're allowed to just pay your opponent. <laughs> That's funny. It's great. Bad things is an amazing charity bracket. Someone take me off a of commentary. <laughs> take these. They can't get rid of me. No, you're here to stay. I'm here because I'm bored. Ooh, doesn't almost gets a gets a, a fancy pantsy uh, electric combo. Oh yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The bear bear combos. The more I see this, this might be a, a bit of a tough matchup for Kazuya. <laughs> we love this commentary duo. I've I've done so much worse. I've done so much worse. Do you want to bring out the Marge impression? What time is it? <laughs> what? What the fuck do you say, Dan? Except? Fuck you, call me. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know who else has heard so much worse? Thanks, my Sep's mom. <laughs> Thanks, Sep's the one who 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 brought in the the, the curse fact that uh, Lucas and Nestor shaped like Funko Pops to the world. Oh. I got it. It's great. great. This is such a strange matchup. What the oh fuck my. was that? I the the electric know. hit behind him. Oh, this character owns. Yoshi unironically scares me if I have to like go against one in bracket. Same. There was a uh, back in the uh, Hawkwood tourney before COVID. There was a really good Yoshi named Cooper. And oh my lord, dominated the bracket every single week. Lands oh, that, the, the, that the, does kill. Yeah, lands the choke. This is a pretty good uh, lead here for Dusk. Well, you, you definitely can't count Philly out of it. Yep, this yep, guy oh. makes crazy comebacks. Perry's jab one, but gets hit by jab two. Unfortunate. Oh, this, is, this is losers too, so they're both kind of fighting for their bracket life here. Yep. It's Not best quite to, gonna kill Yoshi. Oh, it's best of three. This is the last game. Squares yeah. has got to square up. Oh, it hits him with the hell sweep and it oh, kills. Oh, yeah. He, he was like, eh, that was a little sussy. A little little sus hitbox. I mean, I don't think it was in the hitbox. It was the fact there were no red sparks. They didn't kill. It didn't, no, no signs of that killing, but it did. Absolutely. Let's go, Dusk. Let's go. I, I, listen, I've said this before. I think because it is fun. Spirit. 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 Sp sp oh man. Because he is so funny. Because he is funny. Uh. <laughs> I even, like, such a weird. It's like a almost an uppercut. Because <laughs> like. It's the Mishima fighting style. 
Yeah, no, surprise. I know, surprisingly enough, Discorius didn't go the trademark Ike. Oh, no, the, Ike. The, the famous Ike. I would have liked to see that. I, I'm making this joke for the second time, baby. Ooh, Balco. Mr. Mishimer. Bal Balco, the, uh, the, the, the Pac-Man and sometimes Kirby player. Uh, an another old hog regular. No stranger to top eight himself. No stranger to love. Know the rules, and so do I. I wish this cord was, like, longer, so I can <laughs> strangle like myself. A... <laughs> Wait! <laughs> uh... Alright, Balco and Vakira. Oh, Vakira, I haven't seen Vakira in a bit. Uh, Mega Man player. Oh, wait, Mega Man? Super Fighting Yo. Robot Mega Man. If I see some Mega Man today, I'm gonna be happy. Uh, CT is no stranger to Mega Man's. Uh, I know to Blitz Luigi. You know the, Mega the rules, Man player. and so do I. Anytime you say you're no stranger, I, I gotta. I hate you. <laughs> Why are you my sleep paralysis, Steven? Uh, you you want to make a Morbius joke? I don't think we've hit the our quota yet. That's like th there's mold growing on that meme. It's <laughs> yeah, so expired. No, right. Like it, I think it, I think nothing like will reach its peak than Sony wasting more millions of dollars on releasing that movie again. <laughs> Just I, getting gaslit by the entirety of the internet. I was dying when that was re-released. And, and it bombed again. So good. We should do this with more movies. Oh, yeah. Watching, like, big companies loot, just throw money away for nothing is so funny. Definitely. Yeah, this Christmas, can we, can we get, uh, can we just get the Jim Carrey Richard movie in theaters? They'll probably, I mean, they probably play it for, like, special showings. Maybe. They do it for a lot of Christmas movies. I, yeah, I'd watch, I'd watch Jim Carrey's Grinch in, uh, in movie theaters. I, I don't like that movie. <laughs> There's something gross about it. Right. See you later, Dick. Yeah, shout out to Rivals of Ether. My favorite, my ma my favorite plat fighter. It's a good one. It is a good one. Shout out to the Rivals community. Shout out to the Rivals community, because Riptide won't shout them out. Yeah, Riptide's nasty for that. Like, what? Uh, like, come on. Ten... You, you take down the one with ten setups first? Come on. We did... I don't... I, I I had to leave before top eight, but I don't think we got main stage for top eight this year. We oh, had it sucks. last year. That's unfortunate. Is that true? We still have a lifetime set record of 5-3 in Balco's favor. Ooh. Ooh, gonna be Some interesting. Some lore. Man. Pac-Man Mega Man is weird. You think I could host a Rivals of Ether bracket here? Would it would it would people sign up? Uh I know Artie's been talking about uh Artie and a few other people have been talking about running Rivals 2 here. Yeah, well that's 2024. It's 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 weird. Uh it's mostly of we Oh it, oh, it, oh hold on. Pac Pac-Man Mega Man. This is a this is a weird matchup. It, 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 like I feel like a lot of the, the harder zoner matchups in Smash Ultimate are weird. Yeah, like, this is like the, the, both both these characters specifically, both the way their tools interact with each other, kind of isn't really seen often. Like, I would I wouldn't say these characters are uncommon. Uh, far from it. I think these are two fairly popular characters. I don't think I've ever watched this matchup ever. Yeah, that's why I'm saying this specific matchup is weird. God. <laughs> Although, I'll never get tired of uh, Hydrant sending the bell straight forward mm -hmm. and stunning someone. That's always funny. This will be really weird. Yeah, two very projectile-focused characters. I guess the punish on the uh, side B. Oh, oh nice! The yeah. knuckle. Uh, probably should have tried attempted sweet spotting the ledge there. Yeah. Okay, all right, hold on. This is also I, loser's best of three, actually. Yeah, I, I, you know, I gotta hand it to Vakira for not taking the bait and just, like, going after the Hydrant every time. That yeah. is so tempting to do whenever it's out. It, it, well, like, it can easily, like, Mega Man can easily uh, turn the tables on you with that, with that move. Yeah, 
Uh, but like, it's Hydrant is inconsistent as is. It's a very strange move. So I res I respect him not even really bothering much with it. Yeah. Like you see, he's not really. Mega Man also has a lot of safer ways to uh, deal with it too, actually. Yeah, Crash Bomb seems to knock it away. Crash Bomb, even a forward smash, if, if Pac-Man's willing to wait at least. Oh wow! Oh, Man, nice, a nice catch out of the uh, the Galaga. That was a good upbe uh, from Balco, avoiding the forward smash, which would have been probably certain death. Uncharged as it was. Oh, Ooh, yeah, okay. not gonna be able to get anything from that, but does make it back on stage. Able to get a hydrant set, but see, that's what that's what I'm talking about. Mega Man can break that from a very safe distance. Oh, what, does Crash Bomb detonate instantly on hydrant? I think so. Also, that, oh, that didn't killed me. That something killed him. Yeah, no, I something with those like back screen kill animations. They they just never register in my brain. Yeah. It's, well, they more specifically for characters that um that don't make noise when they get launch. True. Pac Pac Pac-Man has a mouth, yet he cannot scream. Yeah. <laughs> he has a mouth, and he cannot scream. Love it. His Up air wind box. Oh, that's what killed. Yeah, yeah. I love wind box moves. What about you? I have a sweet spot. I have a soft spot for him. Yeah. Uh, many. Here's some lore. Uh, mostly, mostly just a funny story. Uh, uh, many a year ago, around like 2019, uh, human hiding uh, used to be a uh, solo shulk main, mm -hmm. and uh, we uh, we encountered each other at uh, Retro Rumble uh, for that tournament back in the G the Great Value Smash days, and uh, he was my uh, winners round one uh, match, and I, I I beat him in the last stock. With, uh, by uh, forward airing him right in front of uh, when he does the second hit of uh, Air Slash. And yep. push him away from the ledge and he died. Ooh. I lost that set because uh, he pulled out Richter and I did not know how to fight that character. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is a really rough situation for Balco to be in. 137 off the stage. Mega Man's yeah. got so many tools. And it's another stock in the, in the tank, too. Yeah, another E-Tank. I was trying to think of an E-Tank pun or quip. But forward throw might kill at this percent. I'm th the key is not didn't quite do much. Yeah, not from that uh, part of the stage. I remember key hitting harder in Smash Four. Maybe uh, it was on the other side of the stage, and Mega Man actually is deceptively heavy. Yep. All right. Balco has got to bring back a whole stock. Fume had a bit of a Richter back in the day. He doesn't uh, scare with scale with rage. Also, yes. Oh, it doesn't. That's weird. I did not know that. That's super. W why? Falco seems to be just taking it in. The meditation. It does help. Don't, 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 don't ever knock it. You oh sometimes yeah. Sometimes you just need to breathe. When I went up on stage to uh, play my uh, rival set, I, I I had to breathe a bit. Yeah. That was. Playing on stage at a major is something else, man. I've never been to a major. Yeah, come to come with me to a major. I don't play Smash games. So what? It's, you don't go to a major to play Smash. You go to play, go to hang out with friends. All the all the fighting game majors are far away. Oh, well, it was not that bad. Although, like, there, there was like a, a notable fighting game tournament in New York. You know what? Uh, Next Riptide, you're coming with me, and I'll, I'll, I want to. I want to go to Riptide. I'll pay for your ticket. You can't make me go to Ohio I'll, willingly. I, I'll pay for your ticket. You can't make me willingly go to Ohio. That oh, place isn't real. Oh, I can. You're gonna hang out with me. You're gonna hang out with Kais. It'll be a grand old time. It's it, it's like Hog, but in Ohio. So objectively worse. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Ohio's not a real place. I'm going. I'm going to pay for your ticket and abduct you. Uh, put me in a sack. Bring me to the potato land. I'm gonna make you eat at a Cane's. I've heard good things about Cane's. Okay. Anyway, we're 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 commentating a set. All right. These up oh, Mega Man up airs everywhere. What is happening on comms? Uh, well, I was expressing my distaste for Ohio. Ohio happened, unfortunately. Oh uh, yeah, truly unfortunate. Right now though. Like, 
Balco making it pretty even. See, I've never seen the appeal of Grass Shield. Uh, it it seems fair share of nurse, but it's a, it's it's kind of like shittier Virgil swords from Marvel Three, where you kind of just have to respect it. The uppercut is not going to kill. These characters are both sitting at 120, 130. Yeah. Something's got to kill. Most of these characters kind of do have to rely on setups to kill. Mega Man less so. He's got that forward air. But, uh... Yeah. Bit, a bit of a stalemate going on here. Like, Balco's got a percent lead, but at this, when they're both at this high percent, it doesn't really matter. Trying to maybe go for some bell shenanigans. Yeah. I like how the bell travels in a bell curve. Yeah. Clever. Oh, that's, that's not gonna kill. Oh no. Man. Zoners, am I right, fellas? I play zoners sometimes. In certain games. Oh. oh. Rough trade. Although. I feel, I feel like the Cure Man doesn't have many Pac-Man aerials left in him to survive. Yeah, a, a bear is gonna kill. Although, like, as long as you don't get like hit here, Pac-Man, uh, not Pac, Mega Man has a lot of ways of just nope, easily there's... racking up damage through stray hits and projectiles. Yeah. The 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 the, the metal saw very very potent. It's probably it's <laughs> probably Mega Man. Uh, one of Mega Man's best moves. Mega Man's pretty real in this game. Oh, oh wow! wow. Pac-Man. I'm moving. not entirely sure what happened, but that was kind of, kind of wild, kind of silly. Even. The Pac-Man hydrant can lead to some very interesting movement options. One could say the pack is back. <laughs> Got I, I, I was waiting to incorporate it. Man, I, have been, I, I've been trying to make that joke for years, and like no one's gotten it. And then suddenly, Pac-Man and Ghostly Adventures made like a comeback on social media. Can you use it called a comeback? <laughs> I think it just, like, you have to be gone for it to be a comeback. It was just never there in the first place. Man. He did just get second in a major. Who did? Which one? Whoops. I don't know. Uh, someone said he got second in a major. Which, which, who, who, whomst? I don't know. I, I don't know what, uh, I, can, I don't think I don't think these characters got second in major. Oh, you, yeah, sure. Oh, Mega each. Man. Oh, Mega uh. Man. I'm not familiar with the uh, the greater Mega Man players that aren't from CT. But uh, good for that Mega Man. Second, uh, good placing. And really good placing. That's that that's like the second best placing. You're the last person to lose. <laughs> that was that's a funny interaction. <laughs> that's silly. Never knew that the charging had a hitbox. I don't think it does. Or maybe it does. I don't know. I've never seen anyone get hit by that. Mostly because you never see Pac-Man's charge in your face. They'll, they'll usually do it from a distance where it's safe. Yeah. Ooh, yep. Ooh. Oh, oh but, no, uh, not killing. the sweet spot of Up Smash. I, well, I think Up Smash has a sweet spot. I know Forward Smash has a sour spot. I mean, it sucks. And Apple a day keeps that Mega Man away. Yeah, Mega, Mega Man's throwing his own fruit, throwing those lemons out. Oh, man. Oh, yep. Can't beat the key. This is looking oh, pretty God. good for Balco, but still gotta be careful here. The, the stray projectiles left and right, man. They're, they're throwing everything in the kitchen sink at each other. At some that point, was a really risky recovery, actually. At some point, one player's got to get aggressive at the other one. They're kind of getting aggressive at each oh, other. Oh, there just we go. Yeah. Different. A bit of a pop-off, too. The Balco. It kind of caught me off guard seeing Vakira with tattoos. Because he's, he's, he's older than he looks. <laughs> so I'm like, why, why, why does this kid got like, tattoos? Really? See his arm? I, I would have... Beyond. All right. Yeah. Take a sip of that water. Take. Stay hydrated, ladies and gentlemen. 
Water is good. Oh, he switched the hat around. Oh, and now it's, it's gamer mode. <laughs> go to target. Go to target. Boo, no. Go, go to target. <laughs> Break the targets used to, used to be something special. Uh. And then from Brawl onwards, it was nothing. Remember Smash 4 where it was like a shitty Angry Birds knockoff? It like, looks like a studious high schooler. It looks like Michael Reeves. Who is Michael Reeves? Uh, it, he's like a an engineering YouTuber. He makes uh, he makes things that tase his friends. That's fucked up. <laughs> it is kind of messed up. You hey, bro, I made this for my YouTube channel. <laughs> you ever get tased? It's not a pleasant experience. No, I have not got tased, and I would kind of not like to. Uh, speaking of which, you want to play laser tag? But the <laughs> but the best tase you. That the. Someone probably did that. That Michael Reeves did. Why would you just act? Uh, anyway, Smash Brothers. Super Smash Brothers. Instead, instead of voluntarily torching yourselves, let's, let's talk about Ultimate. Uh, this is a neat stage, although I could see it like giving some people motion sickness. Yeah. You kind of kind of had to super like fixate on the uh, on the characters. Smash stages don't be distracting. Impossible. Uh. Uh, the, the Animal Crossing stages are generally peaceful looking. This is this is gonna be this is a long set. Yeah. Hey, uh, well, this is what happens when you pit two zoners against each other. Oh, well, not even that. Both these characters kind of rely on setups to yep. kill, but like, n n no one's taking the bait. Hollow Bastion's really pretty. It's pretty good looking. I generally think most of the stages in this game are good looking. Leave it to Square to design a, a unique setting. Yeah, my favorite setting in uh, Kingdom Hearts. Uh... Oh. oh, yep. There is the dare. Now, the question is, will uh, will Balco really be able to even this up quickly before Mega Man hits a little too much percent? Yeah. Because we've seen that both these players have a hard time killing in this match. And there's or a just, raw yeah, fours yeah, just, yeah. yeah. There just you just go. throw it out. Might as well. Hell yeah. Nah, yeah, I respect it. As a Shovel Knight main, I, I am a fan of raw forward smash. Of course you are. It, it comes out so, it comes out pretty fast. It's, gotta enjoy it. God, I forgot about Pac-Man forward tilt. What a move. One of the moves in the game. One of the moves of all time. It has no use at all. Oh, almost gets clipped with the uppie there, but. Yeah. Nice narrow to forward air, actually. Also, oh, Hollowed Bastion, pretty cool. It's designed after the uh, Kingdom Hearts 1 1, so you don't see, like, the town anywhere. The town just doesn't exist. It's got Squall. Squall, and uh, I don't. I've never. I've only played Final Fantasy VI. Uh, I, I didn't play any Final Fantasy when I first played Kingdom Hearts. I had no clue who any of them were. Uh, it's got Squall, and Cloud's like uh, uh, Sephiroth. Uh, Sephiroth, and Sephiroth's like mm, Cloud. Sephiroth and Cloud's interactions in both Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 tell you nothing about their characters. Absolutely not. It might even give you the wrong idea about some of them. It, it from did. Right here. It definitely. That they're just both portrayed as edgy boys. I've, I've never played Final Fantasy 7, but I know Cloud is often mischaracterized. Yeah. I can't forget my favorite Cloud quote from Final Fantasy 7. Let's mosey. <laughs> just, a, just a little weirdo. All right. Uh, this Balco is kind of on the back ropes here. We're, we're getting in. We got to the situation I was talking about here where. Uh, oh, almost paid for his dear life for trying to grab his Pac Man. Yeah, we're, we're at the situation where I said Valkyra got a stock ahead and then Balco just had a hard time. Oh, caught with the up. With caught the up, caught with up, up smash. Up I mean. smash, up smash. Yeah. Super fighting robot Mega Man. Super fighting robot. Gotta get those robot masters and or mavericks, depending on which Mega Man we're talking about. I saw a sick mod for Mega Man that made him look, look like he was like drawn, like uh, in the original like Japanese box art style. Nice. Too bad. Uh, 
I can't get mods to work on the Ryujinx emulator for, for Ultimate. For Smultimate? I'm at some point going to pick up myself a nice uh, OLED Switch and then mod my old Switch. Definitely. Or you could get a Steam Deck and uh, just emulate Switch games on that, because that's apparently its most popular use. Apparently most of the... Most pl most of the like most played games on Steam Deck are just emulated Switch games. Yeah, that's funny. And that they probably run funny. great. Uh, that, the emulator is still kind of wonky. Uh, Yuzu I hear is pretty good because of emulator. Ryujinx is a little wonky, but it's mod compatible. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta, I got, I want to get my hands on a Steam Deck. This seems so cool. They're way, they're actually super big. Yeah, no, I, I, there was, they were running like two rival setups on a on a Steam Deck. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, there was like two Steam Decks and like six normal computer. Uh, no, four normal computers and four really bad computers that crashed all the time. Man, they they like Riptide just didn't throw you guys a bone, huh? No, no, it was real bad. Uh, especially Workshop. Uh, the character I play, Wally, half of his skins didn't load, and if two people pick Wally, it just crashed the machine. Dang. Yeah. I had to run Wally Dittos on my laptop instead of the the setups. That's Riptide really really didn't like the rivals players. They just, they just gave you nothing, oh. huh? If you've ever seen the main floor, there's like screen, 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 like two big screens, two small screens on the side. Yeah. Rivals was on none of them. They were on a little projector in the corner. <laughs> didn't even give you guys anything, huh? Took them basically a whole day to give it risers, so it was actually up higher. That's. You guys deserve it better than that. Come on. This is what we get for being the next, the next plat fighter down. That's that's not right. At least the PM guys got like a real stream. Oh yeah, they they had, P, P plus guys had a nice setup this year. Yeah. DSR was there too. Or DS, whatever the Smash Ultimate HDR, one. HDR. That HDR. one. HDR. I keep calling it DSR. Dave's stupid rule. <laughs> Dave's stupid Smash. <laughs> Um, HDR, yeah, no, that's pretty, that's, a. Uh, I I gotta try some HDR. Uh, they, they tried running at Hog. Uh, it's a hard game to run offline because modding your Switch is kind of not in a great place right now. Yeah. And, uh, just, it's hard to get a lot of people for a bracket. Yeah, I don't know if that one's gonna take off as much as P+. P+, is kind of a lightning in a bottle. P+, plus, P plus has the advantage of being on the Dolphin emulator. Dolphin, uh, Wii's are pathetically easy to mod. Yep. We got Husk. We got. I said almost said Husk. I almost combined them. Husk. That'd be a good tag, actually. Yeah. We got Dusk versus Heinous. The, the, About to see some Heinous edge guarding. <laughs> Mr. Electric, kill this man. <laughs> I guess you could call Kazuya Mr. Electric. All right. Ah. Oh. All right. All right. Alt modders, I need you to make the fucking giant TV head George Lopez from Shark Boy and Lava Girl, Ooh. but put it over K Kazuya. All right. Mr. Electric Wing Godfis. We got the boogeyman of Smash here, Kazuya and Rob. I, I don't see. I don't see Steven here. Uh, is Steven banned? No. No. Okay. There's a lot of states that have banned Steven. S Steve. Most of those have been joke posts. Okay. Like Ohio has banned has banned Steve, like the state of Ohio. <laughs> Steve's not even remotely bannable. People are just babies. Anyway, uh, there's my hot hot ish take. Uh, right now, Hayna's kind of keeping a good job of keeping Kazuya at bay. Yeah, the signature Rob gameplay going on right here. It's important to note that uh. Fucking oh, oh, oh. Ooh, there, I was gonna say there's no way. Yeah, that no, that that would look scary, but it's not killing. And is that it? is the ex that is the uh, rage expended. Yeah, almost gets the kill, but holds a little too long. It's also important to note that Kazuya has the strongest reflector in the game. Oh. Uh, I think uh, the funny interaction if if he uses the reflector on Sephiroth uh, counter, it kills Sephiroth at zero. And a few other characters, I think. Damn. It's weird. Wow, actually, lands the command grab that high up in percent, but does not kill, but... Wow. <laughs> that, that, uh, heinous that, is just living. Rob made out of those macro plastics. 
Oh. That'll finally kill. Yeah, that's done. Uh, up smash, generous hitbox. Wow. Tries to go for a crazy down smash confirm. There we go. Oh, yep. All right, laser beams. What a top launch. What? What a top launch. That fuck, the, the, the off ledge. I, I'm good at commentating, I swear. And Did you call it a top the... lunch? Top launch. Oh, launch. Launch. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking? What kind of analogy is this? What, what kind of prism of words have you? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that reflect is kind of silly. I, that's what I'm saying. It's like the strongest reflect in the game, I think. Oh. Yeah, it's uh, not. Oh, well, not wow. dead. Not dead. Not dead. I guess Rob is big. Rob technically a heavy, right? Oh yeah, that. I don't that. think he's like heavy, heavy, but he's like, he's like Samus heavy. Here comes the pain train. Ooh. Oh. Almost. Oh. That was almost a shield break, but it, that it didn't been matter. Nasty. Hiatus is at a hundred and what twelve percent now. Uh. Kazuya Mishima. Kazuya Mishima. Shouts to the Tekken 4 announcer. Tekken 4, I think, is considered one of the bad ones, but that is a top tier announcer. Uh, this might be a dead kid. Nope. Nope. And good air dodge. Ooh, up B out of shield just lets it rip. Yep. Doesn't even wait for the second hit of the jab to come out. All right. I'm ordering. I'm ordering myself some food. What, are, what am I ordering? Kazuya Mishima. Kazuya Mishima. Sure, five guys. Because I had five guys yesterday, and it fucking banged. She also five guys. You're overpriced as shit, but holy shit, is it good? Mm. Oh, FD. This is a curious choice. I'm, to bring, I'm, go, I'm going dark for a second. To bring Kazuya here. Oh, I feel I feel like <laughs> the right hit can can bring you to straight to the pain dimension. I'm talking like ninth ninth, ninth circle of hell shit. But you know, Rob also gets a few benefits here. Oh my god, that was awesome. I got where he says this character is awesome. He hit, he hit him once into hell sweep at the ledge and he died. Ah. Uh. Oh, this wow doesn't kill because he has got a does have a bit of weight weight on him. As as you many of the FGC uh, boys, the lads. Oh wow, the, even weak lids are not gonna kill. What a smart grab. Nose little armor. And I'm good. Hello. Hanus is actually so lucky that that, uh, that sent him off stage. Because if he was sent on stage, he would have been uh, sent to the 11th circle of the underworld. I, I looked away and now Kazuya's at like 190. Okay, nah, no, never mind. Kazuya's dead. Kazuya uh, did that one move. I don't even know what it's called. He goes like he he essentially like backhands you at the shins. Yo, watch your tone. <laughs> yeah, uh, hell sweeps and you and he died. Counter picked FD. Yeah, it is a strange choice. I, I hate this is really liked FD today. I think. Rob definitely, excuse me, uh, has no uh, like, definitely has a uh, strengths on this stage to be sure, but. Compared to the strengths of Kazuya on this stage, I don't know, that's... That's scary. Very. Oh. God, the... You know what's always weird about FD? The really loud sound it makes in the background. Yeah, no, I... Th I yeah, that's kind of distracting. You can't do anything about it, though. I wish uh, there was an option to, like, kind of... Like tone down the backgrounds, like if there was a, 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 a option in the stage pick to have static background or something. Quality of life is for weenies. Yeah, I know, right? I hope future platform fighters do that. Yeah. I've been asking for that for years. I think a lot of 
I think some traditional fighting games have it, at least on PC. Remember Smash 4's flashbang backgrounds for FD? Yeah, th very cool, Nintendo. Oh, hey, that is a kill. All right. Yeah, that's probably one of the bigger benefits of uh, FD here is down throw becomes a very scary mix-up. Yeah, Hanus is uh, even... He's fighting up. back, yeah. Red the air dodge. And suddenly, almost steady even. You gotta be uh, big careful though. Yeah, no. You gotta remember that Kazuya is a lot more explosive than Rob. We could have a certified Kazuya Mishima moment on our hand. All right, there's the rage. But maybe not if. Oh! oh yeah, that was killed. A, that was a risky play, but it worked out in the end. Yeah, it was looking pretty rough for Hannes in the beginning, but he kept his composure and. Imagine you know? if he had air dodged that, he would have just followed up with a bear and it would have been over. Yeah, or worse. Or a whole lot worse, yeah. Also, Dusk rocking the white GameCube controller. Respect to anyone who uses a white controller. Uh, it's fine as long as you have, like, you know, basic hygiene. Yeah, you gotta clean that often. Even with basic hygiene, your, your skin... Oily. Alright. Town and city. Town and also city. Also, go KK Rider. Isn't KK Slider? No, 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 no. The, the song is Go KK Rider. It's the racing one. Actually, it's a reference to Common Rider. Is it? Pro you, you know what? Now that I think about it, probably. I, I, I only heard Common Rider recently. I don't actually know what it is. It's uh, it's a Tokusatsu. Th think of older Power Rangers. Okay. Of uh, dudes in suits beating up other dudes in suits. Nice. It it kind of owns. He rides a bike. Oh, oh yeah. That did so much damage. It's like getting hit with like an Incineroar counter move. Or uh, revenge move. Oh, yeah, that's a that's a supremely that's dead, dead rob. rob. Yeah. And Dusk taking the first stock here. Ooh, <laughs> the gyro kind of annoying Kazi at the ledge here. Oh wow, the the laser just sent gyro flying. Oh yeah, that's top is an annoying thing to deal with sometimes. You just need eye beams. Yeah, you just need like genetic demon powers, and you'll be fine. Yeah, he's oh. <laughs> Kazuya is Satan genetically. 196. Uh, you know th those custom sneakers are uh, full of lead, actually. M m much like old people. <laughs> but Rob, Rob's Rob's the zoomer, full of microplastics. Oh, there it is. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I guess. Because the real life Rob is made of plastic. Yeah. So I was equivalented, you know, Smash Rob to also be made of plastic. It's also kind of weird how big he is in Smash, considering, like, the real life Rob isn't all that large. True. Like, uh, yeah, of course it... Oh, oh unfortunate. Um, the double bear, did he, I wasn't sure why he didn't recover there. I looked away to try to, like, visualize the size of Rob, but... Solo? Heinous? Uh, still kind of coming out on top in the neutral here. Oh, this oh, is yeah. damage. Parry to Electric Wind God Fist. Even when he shielded that, he was you know not in a good position because because he was just knocking on his door. The cl the classic Tekken move of uh, Crash Punch. Nice air dodge catch. Hanus is still very much in this. You just gotta be careful of Kazuya Mishima. Kazuya Mishima. Uh. Hanus has got to be very, very careful. Ooh, up smash. It's with the one, two, three jab, the gentleman, if you will. I, the eye beam is so scary. Yeah, it's like surprisingly good for keeping your opponent at bay. Most projectiles like that have to charge for a bit. That's a joke move in Tekken. Uh, yeah, no, that's dangerous. Because like in Tekken, it takes forever to start up, and also you can sidestep in that game. So you can yeah. just be like, nah. Yeah, nah, no, no thanks. Uh, uh, here, here comes uh, the, the whatever Inkling song. Uh, eh, it's a mid-pick. 
Alright, Dusk ahead. Let's see if Hanus can eke out a game and bring it to game five. I believe. I, I think this is still top eight, so, you know, I, both these players have played very well today and, you know, made it decently far in the tournament. No, hold on. Hane is kind of playing at the ledge there. He's kind of trying to space uh, Kazuya out, but that grab is uh, nasty. Yo, honestly, Hanus has been playing the matchup pretty well, all things yeah. considered. Good job of keeping Kazuya at, like, that mid-range game where he doesn't really yeah, have any options. The drift back fair is, uh, honestly, some, it seems pretty good in this matchup. Oh, definitely. Oh, oh, oh tried to end his life it. there. Goes for it. I don't think that would have killed at 53, but... Maybe it might have killed Kazuya. Kazuya's recovery is just okay. This is exactly where Rob wants you. Oh, he went for it. Yeah, he went for it. Oh, man, I can't believe... Yeah, you tell me your Kazuya's recovery is just okay, but... I was talking about Hanus. Hanus yeah, no. was off stage for a while. They both were... Uh, Kazuya getting his rage out. Lands the down smash. This isn't a dead Kazuya, but that might be. Yeah, that is. One dead Kazuya. Hanus' edge guarding is always a treat. I want to see. I want to see the ten hit combo come out. That. That's not even a real combo. Shh. It's I not want, a real combo in Tekken either. I want the ten hit combo to come out. It's, it's bad. It's unsafe on hit. <laughs> the fuck, the, the axe kick, I love it. The overhead. Oh, punch. I have never played a Tekken game. Uh, Kazuya is extremely difficult in Tekken. Unless you pl count Pokken. Close. It's uh, so sad Pokken didn't take off. There's, there's definitely still a scene, but yeah, I did. It, it, you know, considering he had, you know, the most profitable brand on, on Earth yeah. associated with it. Po Pokemon is undeniable proof that you can't just slap Pokemon on something and have it do well. I think it did well financially, but, like, in terms of a long-lasting scene, it kind of It does, does well in Japanese arcades, I think. Yeah, there, it's definitely more popular Ooh, overseas than the, the dunk. This is, uh, Hane is looking pretty good here, if I do say so myself. The, 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 the gyro kind of Kazuya poison. Oh, what was that? He armored it. Of course he did. Of course he, he needs did it. Armor. Yeah, he needs it. Right. Right. Every character needs electric wing god fist. Right. It'd be objectively better if every character in the game had electrics. Ooh. That up smash is as low key kind of wild. It's fast, and he just goes. And he has a, it has a really generous hitbox. It's Smash. A lot of things have a generous hitbox. Unless you're Ganondorf. Snake Dare, Snake Dare. That, can we talk about Snake Dare? That, that hitbox is really generous. It's like his only out of shield option. Alright. Uh, D Dusk is uh, sitting at an awfully high percent here. Definitely. But... This mu Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, that, his life depended on that roll. I was gonna say the second I saw him knocked down, I was like, "This could be a dead character." Ooh, oh, and the speaking speed. of dead character, though. All right, Hanus, let's go. A bit, bit of a pop off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang. Th th this is losers vote too, so they're both kind of hanging on for dear life here. Yeah, we're bringing it to game five. Hmm. All right. Hold on. What am I ordering for food? What do we, what do we got here? Ooh, I got wings. Oh yeah? Yeah, wings. Ooh, bone, bones. Kazuya. Kazuya. Yeah, no, game five, this is real hype. Ah, uh, hell yeah. We're going to PS2 for the final game of Losers Quarterfinals. Yeah. Someone's Ooh. gonna get knocked out here. Here come the electrics, but good shield grab from Hanus. Bit of a, a weird little uh, electric interaction there. 
Oh, he oh reflected it Lord. and he exploded. That, oh, that, that puts Dusk a whole stock ahead. He see, like he was at the corner and he, tenant combo just doesn't work. Yeah. It, it, you might as well be getting hit with fox lasers. Absolutely heinous. What if I just died? Thank you. I am the comedy master. I'm just thinking of the scene from Joker where he's bombing on stage. <laughs> um, you get what you fucking deserve. Oh wow, grabs oh, him. Yeah, yeah, hold on, hold on. Even with a mash, uh, if Hanus predicts right, you can get a follow up. Ooh. And yep. All right, Anus is gonna take that stock, but he's still gotta make up this near hundred percent down. Rob can definitely uh make make you work to get in, and oh my god, oh, that almost killed. Reflected kill. top. That's so funny. Uh, uh, Dusk is really out here saying you're relying on these projectiles too much. Re rely on this. It's it, it, it hits him with the uh, Air Force Ones. Oh, all right. And Dusk, uh, match point here. Hanus oh. kind of needs to make big plays. Yeah, this could be where it starts, though. Uh, we might see the offstage spin again. Honestly, that that's going to be m probably the most reliable kill option Definitely. this early. Getting juggled by Kazuya. Oh, no. Oh, this is oh. getting scary. Does land the uh, side B. Oh, the, the top set up. Perfectly spaced top. And that is going to take kill off the top. Hanus is holding on for dear life. Hanus, Hanus is down, but not out. Definitely. Rob easily racks up damage. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. He hit him with the... When all else, when all else fails, just F smash, honestly. That's one of the harder ones to land unless you set up into it. Mm -mm. Oh man, that's rough. I'm gonna continue ordering some wings. That was uh, losers' quarterfinals, I believe. So now we have a match coming up. Ooh, honey. Who do we have next? Oh, uh, we got... Ooh, Pelka versus 6AM. This will be really interesting. I've never seen 6AM fight Pelka. My new favorite time of the day. This is a... This will be an interesting uh, benchmark for 6's skill, I believe. Pelka... Pelka, this is a real... This is a real player right here. Uh, I wonder who's going to go, though. So, I've never seen 6AM play a character in this game that wasn't Incineroar or sometimes Ganondorf from Friendlies. Honestly, based picks. I've <laughs> six AM is also cracked at like any fighting game he touches. He's just actually like a, nat a naturally talented player. We played the fucking fucked up fist of the North Star fighting game once. It was so funny. Oh man, I used to kill them once. It was good. Uh, here we here we go. The snake comes out. This is this is the character Pelka's uh, famous for. This will be an interesting matchup, actually. Uh, Incineroar definitely has tricks against some zoners. This is not this is the matchup I have not seen in a in a hot second. Yeah, Snake, Snake and Ultimate is really uh, it's really something. Things blow up. You don't actually see this character that much anymore. Yeah, I, I, I feel like in the early days of ult, you saw him everywhere. Yeah. Uh, I I even had a pocket Snake. Na yeah, snake snake needs are really something in this game. This will be very interesting. Oh, wow! The, the Incineroar does not care about the explosion. Nope, armor. He needs it. A a a he kind of does. He kind of does. Yeah. Can you imagine you land the command grab, but the the uh, the explosion saves Snake? I'd be pissed off. My 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 workshop character's main character doesn't have armor on command grab. Real sad. Pod doesn't need armor and command grab. It has iframes anyway. <laughs> That's better. Oh. Uh, all right. Hold on. That bear almost killed. But Snake is on the heavier side, I think. 
He's actually quite heavy. Oh yeah. Oh right. And there we go. The the tried and true, my beloved up tilt. As opposed as opposed to PM Snake, Ultimate's got Nikita. Yeah. Uh, PM Snake side B is probably better. <laughs> yeah, but Nikita can it in be this game downright oppressing in its own right. Yeah, especially since certain characters and this is one of Snake's biggest strengths. Is this character just causes you to take damage? Yeah. Here comes Nikita, an amazing edge guard tool, but the up he's gonna catch. But you kind of have to trade in that situation, unfortunately. Yeah. Ooh, oh, really where's good. it going from here? All right. Thought he was gonna go for a roll read, but they, I believe that's F tilt, right? Yeah. Or right, jab, one of one of the other. No, F tilt no, to the two hit. Yeah. Ooh, that's actually oh. kind of smart. Uh, yeah, get revenge. Uh, Still got it on Pelka, the table. Pelka might be trying to knock it out of him, though. Can you imagine if a revenge worked for thrown items, so you you, you get hit by a revenge grenade? Oh, my lord. Okay, just right. barely kills from middle screen, but 6 a.m. still got a quite quite a deficit to work from. Uh, yeah, he's got to run uphill, and it's not it's not looking like a whole lot of fun. Oh, oh that hit the Nikita and deactivated it. Yeah, luckily for 6 a.m. Pelka not kind of not giving anyone giving a six an inch here. Playing the matchup pretty well, all things considered. This is you know not a matchup you see all the time, mostly because it sounds horrific on paper, oh, like that. Like that, yeah. Yeah. Like I said, Incineroar's got tricks against zoners, but Pelka says uh, silly, silly cat six are. Uh, well, <laughs> tricks are for kids. Yeah, uh, Nikita is very oppressive to people to characters with linear recoveries. Yeah. <laughs> You, you kind of got to hope it doesn't activate when you uh, armor it or perish. Yeah, it's real rough. Uh, 6am appears to be thinking. Okay. All 6am is not going to pick anyone but Incineroar. Yeah. Like, there's there, there's no way. At least not in bracket. You, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta hand it to 6am to, to just stay hype. Hell yeah. It's part of the bit. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be 6 a.m.'s official hype, man. <laughs> Get in line. Yeah, I know, right? There's a long line. And again, just like, kind of more of, the, more of what happened in the first game. Just, Incineroar just takes all these hits and the damage just racks up so high. And Incineroar ha kind of has to just take these. Yep. Unfortunately, Incineroar's biggest weakness is probably his very linear recovery method. And just generally bad movement. Yeah. Like, this character is very slow. And it's, Snake's not the fastest, but he's much faster than Incineroar. Inc Incineroar always wants to be in his opponent's face, and Snake is very good at keeping people out. Even when you get in the face, you have to deal with grenade. Yeah. But, oh, but gonna get that spicy there. Yeah, and percents are even. Although, you know, eight, you know, eighty-eight percent for Incineroar, that's workable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Incineroar's got got a lot of weight and does land the command grab, and even has enough time to revenge the grenade. Six AM is starting to find his way back in this, but Pelka knows uh, knows the range of uh, command grab well, but. Lands down throw down air off stage and evens the game right up. I got a revenge charge. All right, revenge to spin. Yep. This is so scary. Like all, with all the grenades going over there, you have to move so carefully. But so, but 6 a.m. knows what he's doing. Th that's, that's not death. Not that's from not, middle stage. No, 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 no. Not a snake, at least. Not quite. But 6 a.m.'s looking for something. Definitely. This not quite not gonna, gonna kill. kill. Oh my lord! 127. Snake uh is got got some. Ooh, that red. beat out the. Yeah. The... No, red the get up. Oh, that's rough. 6 a.m. now two games down, but not quite out if he loses this one. 
Yeah, no, he'll only be in losers. Uh, contemplating. What is he cooking? Oh, I got hit with Snake Nair. Loki does like it just the cra. Oh no! Oh no! That's that's rough. Oh, come on, 6 a.m. Let's go. Ooh. Oh man, that almost downers him into the grenade. That kind of would kind of been wild. I mean, let's be honest. Pelka's Pelka's snake is already pretty wild. It, yeah. He's pretty good. I know I'm kind of up here. I'm supposed to be impartial commentating, but I'm I am still rooting for 6 a.m. Pelka used to regularly uh, top eight back in the day. Oh yeah. The GVS. Don't get me wrong. D D Pelka is playing very clean right now. This, this is a high high benchmark for uh, playing a player of this caliber. Yeah. That mm, no, not quite. No, not quite killing. Sandworm is just so, like, <laughs> Snake is so good at just, uh, mixing up his landing options. But, oh, does yeah. get clipped by the up air, so. Yeah. Still a fresh stock behind, though. And all the all these stray hits, they, they actually kind of hurt. Yeah. Uh, oh, Ooh, okay. But, kind of ping-ponging each other around. I was a little afraid they're off stage and Snake was in front of you. It was like, is there going to be a forward air coming? Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, uh, fortunately for 6 a.m., that that fairy does come out kind of slow. It's pr it, yeah, it's no p.m. fair. Oh oh, Na Nikita. Good oh, tech, but only tech. yeah. Oh, I didn't even uh, yeah, see the when, sticky. When did he get stuck? The phantom sticky. That was kind of nice. Metal Gear Solid 2, the phantom sticky. That's not even that. Sorry, five. The, yeah, I was gonna say, Sons of the Sticky would be Metal Gear Solid 2. Sons of the Sticky. It stuck him when he teched on the platform. He stuck his foot. That was that was kind of kind of stealthy. Very I, appropriate. I wish I had a confirm noise when you stuck someone. Like a noticeable. Not, not not in this game. Yeah, like a noticeable one. In PM, it goes the. Whir. Yeah, it does it does the exclamation point? Because again, quality of life is for weenies. Weenies. We need some wheels. Thought you were gonna go with the SpongeBob route. That that is that that's the. Well, uh, yeah, that's what we gotta get SpongeBob back. We, I was talking about the you know the classic, you know, my sensors Jr. indicate you are one hundred percent uh, weenie. Weenie. Fifty percent C, fifty percent weed. <laughs> that's a that aged very funnily. We need some wheels. We gotta get SpongeBob we back. We gotta get SpongeBob back. It's such a niche reference. We sound like crazy people. <laughs> you want to start dry it's quoting Dragon Ball PP? God, no. Let's not. Virginia. <laughs> First of all, there's there's uh there are lines in that that will yeah, probably get no. the stream banned. Yeah, no, no, I don't think we're going any further with that so one. Uh, ooh, you can you can tell the age on some of those pretty Yeah. It was a time. It was a time. It was a time. Remember when we used to do that in Regency? The the fucking Goku face. <laughs> I'm as strong as an ant. If an ant was this big. <laughs> <laughs> Who do we have up next? Yeah, who's up next? We're clearly not quite paying attention. It's I I will never pay attention ever. I I haven't booted up Smash or Start or whatever the fuck it's called .gg in yeah. years. Oh, Duskin Moat the Goat. We got we got an FGC match going on. Yeah. Yeah. You know what's weird about today's commentary? I'm supposed to be the straight man to you, but you're the one keeping us on track most of the time now. Am I? Can you call it that? More than normal. Uh, you know, I actually don't think I've seen this matchup before. Yeah, I don't think so either, because I didn't pay much attention after uh, Terry came out. 
Power Wave. Power Wave. Power Wave. Oh, is... he, he electrics oh. the power dunk. Power Wave is actually kind of a funny move. Uh, in the aerial version, can yeah. gimp a lot of characters' recoveries. It's pretty good, actually. <laughs> the, the pushback. Oh, not quite uh, high enough to get the nair. And Moat's kind of been eating these electrics for breakfast. That's funny. Oh, Tripped him. Trip. And so, and they didn't quite get rid of tripping. Oh, hit him with gates of hell. Oh, nice, nice avoid there. This yeah. is we This is gonna be weird. Yeah, he's got the go, but hits he's him not with another gates of hell. He's at so high percent. Oh my god. All right. Okay. The question is, is he actually gonna get something off of the go? He needs to connect something first. It is max rage go. Whatever he hits will hurt. Well, no power geyser. Interesting. There it oh, is. Could not armor through the power geyser. Oh, I. That, that was either a purpose. That might have been a pur purposeful burn knuckle, or it was supposed to be a. I don't know if uh, if Buster Wolf would have killed there. Mm, the Buster Wolf kills. That was right on ledge. More or less. It was on the other side, though, wasn't it? I don't know. It, it's moving really fast. But regardless, they're on a clean reset now. Ooh, luckily it doesn't get crumpled by the, uh, by the side B there. That would have been a uh, big hurt. Would have been real rough. Power Ooh, dunk. Gets, gets chat. It gets Nair into power dunk. Oh, and dunks him again. All right, Moat the Goat kind of sitting in a in a comfortable position right now. Ooh. Also sporting the banana Terry skin. A good old Respectful. mustard. Oh, hold on. Oh, jab, jab into rising tackle, looking to maybe get an early kill there, but. Uh, that not was quite. not close, but like it did, it did, it does good damage. It does do good damage. Possibly more than power dunk, but I'm not sure. Dusk has been landing a, a lot of electrics this game, but not really getting anything off of them. Oh, that's not gonna kill, but get a Buster Wolf. I've been seeing it a lot today, actually. Wake up super, baby. Oh, wow. Power Geyser misses. Ah, that he is a died. dead carry. Oh, but he had another stock. I didn't even realize. This yeah, is, no, yeah, no, this no, is no. This is rough for uh, for Dusk. Unless he gets a miracle hit in. It, it could, oh, this could, oh, doesn't get the follow up. Wait. Again, he's he's getting these, star these starters, but the follow ups just aren't there. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah rising tackle. Shoutouts to Jab Jab Rising Tackle. Probably didn't even need to do the charge version. Probably would have just killed Raw at that uh, percent. So wait, I I think I think the charge version does do more damage. I could be wrong about that one. It's been a bit. Well, look at you on your phone when you're when you're commentating. Look at you go. How long have you been ordering food, huh? I, I ordered it. I'm just. I, I man, I want my wings. Moat's had quite the run. Yeah, Mo Moat's doing real good. Moat the goat is kind of going. Moated. Moated, honestly. Moated with the sauce. <laughs> Unfortunate. Anyway. Going to, uh, town and city here. I think, I don't know, this, this feels like a, this feels like a not good stage for Kazuya. Plenty of platforms to escape the, the pain. Yeah, oh, oh, oh no. Almost, almost had something cooking there. What was it cooking? Oh, it for, doesn't get a sweet spot forward smash, but hey, damage is damage. Remember when Ninja said he had something cooking for smash? I think that got, I think it got revealed that got Nintendo. Uh, I was about to say it was, it's been cooking so long it's been burnt. No, nah, Nintendo just turned off the oven. <laughs> As they do. And then they foreclosed your house. And sued you for all your worth. Yep, and then call the FBI on you. That last one happened. Oh, great. You know Nintendo, Nintendo ninjas are a real thing? Yeah. 
They're just real. Like, I always thought that was a joke. If only, if only. All right, Terry's got, Terry's got the go sauce. And there's a Buster Wolf. Wow, that did so, that did 70%. Yeah, Dusk has got to figure out how to, how to quickly kill or else Moat might just get a free stock. Moat's playing this Ooh. matchup really well. The mix up. Even, even after he fell out of, uh, that's what I'm talking wow. about. Oh, mid screen. Too. That's what I'm talking about. You can really get an easy kill if you don't get take that go away. It's really go time, but there, there it goes. Yeah. Now that's a comeback mechanic. It go is. is. Go is kind of insane. Yeah. Ooh, I need a nice little three piece there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should take some notes from Moat and use Crack Shoot more often. Crack Shoot's always been pretty good in this game, I feel. Yeah, it, it def it's definitely super safe on shield. Oh, yeah. Uh, Cross is up, too. Uh, Moat's got that go again. Oh, that's going to get punished for sure. Not a great punish, though. Yeah. That's a good. Po that's a good uh, catch, that's though. A good that's a good catch. Take the go away from Moat. And suddenly, uh, things are looking pretty. Oh wow, he's falling out of that a lot. Pretty good. I think that's SDI. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Ah, uh, the burn knuckle. Let's go. That killed too. Wow. Yeah. That was a generously uh, well-sized burn knuckle hitbox. It is pretty large. Have you looked at ultimate hitboxes? They're funny. Yeah. S Smash hitboxes are generally pretty, are a lot more generous than some of the, uh, some traditional fighting game hitboxes outside of some outliers. All right. Game three. Mo Moat looking to maybe get with a full 3-0 sweep. Maybe. Dust That'd be bringing impressive back bunch. to town to city, town and city. It didn't work out horribly for him last, uh... Yeah. If I were either of these characters, I'd probably want FD. I wonder if, uh, if Moat had banned FD. Yeah, I feel like, you know, FD is good for Terry, but I think it's scarier against, uh, Kazuya. Yeah. But right now, though, Moat kind of running away with it. Yeah, Moat. On the verge of a 30 here. Oh, ooh. Imagine if that if they got a grab at that. I don't even know if that would have killed... You can hold that for a... Well, yeah, no. Kazuya was at a low percent. Yeah. I was about to say, you could hold it as the platform's moving, but... And uh, the forward throw animation for Terry isn't particularly long. Oh, almost gets the back air follow-up. That oh, okay. doesn't kill. Terry's got some doesn't weight. Doesn't kill, so he's got the ghost sauce. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I... I get scared whenever uh, Buster Wolf doesn't connect because it means it's getting punished, but... That was probably meant to be a uh, power geyser, honestly. It's oh, very, wow. It's very easy to mess up the inputs. Yeah, especially on GameCube controller. The, the oh. gentleman does not kill at 187. Oh, pff, the armor through the jab! Oh, yeah, there it is. Uh, this is a silly game. Very silly game. Okay. I, and suddenly, it's even. Suddenly, I'll, it's very even. I'll take that trade all the way to the bank. That was probably the best trade I've seen in a long time. Definitely. Yeah, easily. I, I, don't, I just don't think Moat was ready for it. And Terry is not a character that's going to make that back. Yeah. To return to the Ganon roots, it's true. Oh, yeah, Gus, Dusk did used to play Ganon. Oh, that rising tackle's getting dangerous. True. And again, Dusk just hasn't been able to get anything crazy off. He's got his rage. Oh, that, that whiff mm. fort uh, down smash could have been deadly. Yeah, no, I... I think I even I'd be scared to pull that off. Yeah, that, there is the... Yep. Ja no, oh, no, hold, the, on, hold on, hold on. The, the high ceiling of uh, Town City saving him. Boat. Oh. 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 Dusk has a, a, a lease on life here. Gets Gates of Hell. 
Oh, oh air no. dodge. Ooh. And suddenly, a uh, dusk is. Man, why Smash Ultimate air dodge got to be like that? Uh, Smash Four air dodge was too good. That's why. Yeah. I don't even mind that it's like that. It's just that the, the buffer is so high that it it, it kind of fucks you over a lot. If the game had like a normal game buffer, I, I it'd probably be fine. If, if the game had a normal amount of buffer and input delay, a lot of things in this game would be fine. All right, game four. Let's see where they went. Where where were they cooking? Town and city. <laughs> Do they really? <laughs> we really like a uh, town and city, I guess. We we stand town and city. What the fuck are you doing? Are you having a, are you having like a breakdown? Are you sundowning? It's like 1022. Look at it, it's 1022. I haven't eaten yet. That's a you problem. I'm slowly going insane. I I definitely That didn't kill, that's crazy. Also, you know what's also crazy? I was gonna say Moat has just not been touched. Yeah, Moat. Moat definitely knows what he's doing. Ooh. And Wait, I, here we go. Oh, hold on, hold on. Dust bringing out some sauce. Again, holding it just a bit too long. Oh, rising yep. tackle. Yeah. Shout out to Terry uh, dodge attack, by the way. <laughs> yeah. He did hit him with it. The, 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 uh, the old school KOF classic. The spot dodge attack. Oh, Hell Sweep doesn't even kill. Actually, no, that wasn't Hell Sweep. That was I, I don't remember what that move's called. It's demon some something. Demon uh, related attack. Because he's a demon. Oh wow. Can the commentators get a printout sheet of all Kazuya move names? All like 30 of them that are in this game. Because he doesn't have all his moves in this game. Because he has like over 100 moves in Tekken. God damn it. Every every character in Tekken has over 100 moves.